Hello everybody, my camera's a little off. Always will be. Nope, needs to go this way. Nope, needs to go the other way. <laughs> Look, it's not easy to think in reverse. Unless you're a Republican. Got him. Alright, hey everybody, welcome to Controller Day. Uh, we're back with Dark Souls 2. Uh, round 3. It's the bottom of the third. Uh, Panda has <laughs> some catching up to do. Um, he need, but he was ahead at the end of round two. Hey, Cobalt. He was at the, he was ahead at the end of round two. And while I did make some headway, um, I have gotten fairly stuck in that I'm not 100% sure what I have to do to get Nashandra to show up and I cannot beat the stupid ivory burned ivory french fry <laughs> without help from the salty minions the salty boys <laughs> they do look like they're just made of pure Sodium chloride. Just. Yeah. Or apparently ammonium chloride if you want a true salty experience. <laughs> I feel like that would erode your tongue faster than normal salt would. So you'd think so, but apparently that's really popular in, at least according to the stuff that Markiplier bought, that's uh, fairly popular in where, where, where did, where was it he went? Uh, Iceland. They, they like them some salty shit, so... <laughs> Maybe um, that's what they. Maybe that's what those uh, pumpkin seeds were salted in. Maybe. Not sodium chloride, but ammonium chloride. But I mean, it's a salt. The question is just one of whether it will kill you or not. <laughs> um. So, but as it stands, in order for me to complete my run, I just have to beat Nishandra and beat the crispy nacho. He's just gonna he, originally like he's just gonna change into a different slightly burnt food slash confectionery every time I refer to him. Uh, mm, nachos. I could go for some nachos. Not like good nachos though. Like yeah, I want I like I want cheap ass ballpark nachos where it's just like discs of chip with not with like bag nacho cheese glooped on that them. Thick yellow, <laughs> yeah, fucking, and just like beer, <laughs> lots of beer. There's so many people who are like, "Oh, these nachos are great," or "Oh, these nachos are great with this fucking real ass cheese." No nachos will ever top the experience, the experiences I had at the Texas Cattle Company, because those were some of my favorite nachos I've ever had in my life. And the cheese they used was that fucking ballpark neon yellow jalapeno cheddar. Yup. Gloop from a bag cheese. Cause yeah, cause like a lot of the time when it comes to food, I'm in there doing that like, I want that purple drink. Yeah. <laughs> I want some of that purple stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anywho, so uh, Panda has, so he's got some catching up to do. I think I took the full, what was it, three, three hour sesh? Three and a half ish. Three and a half ish. So, mm -hmm. he's got there to catch up. He's also doing a different DLC than me. I think you said you've committed to the Sunken City. Yeah. Or Even though I literally know nothing about it because I hate the old Iron King DLC. Mm hmm. No, like, I'm so sick of American singles. Like, I already had to deal with the Iron Keep, and then it's like, and it's fiery bullshit and dismal. And then it's just like, and, you know, the world was nothing but ash in Dark Souls 3. And then when I actually sat down and played Old Iron King DLC, it's like, nothing but ash. And it's like, <laughs> I am so fucking sick of everything being burnt cinders. Give me a vibrant color, even if it's nothing but green. <laughs> well, and then they put you into green, 
and it's like, like I would like to thank Elden Ring for providing us with a lush green in at least some parts of their world where it feels like pretty and bright and vibrant and yeah, shit. Yeah, that's one thing I loved about Elden Ring was just how Elden Ring is like the best parts of Oblivion combined with the best parts of Skyrim combined with Souls gameplay. I mean, visually, the best parts of Oblivion combined with the best parts of Morrowind combined with the best parts of Skyrim are the best Elder Scrolls game, Elder Scrolls Online, but, you know, people are gonna, no, 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 how dare you say that Elder Scrolls Online is a good game. Hey, I enjoyed my time in Elder Scrolls Online. It's the best one. Even I just, though, like... At least by every metric that people measure Elder Scrolls games... American Singles on Tostitos. No. True Trash Nachos. <laughs> That's like, uh... It's like when I made my poor man's nachos, and it was just a can of fucking Hormel chili <laughs> in a bowl, put some cheese on top microwave it throw on some like jalapeno slices and then just some cheap ass oh. tortilla chips <laughs> just spoon it in <laughs> i mean that's the way it always goes because like you don't think you're gonna get that much from a can of hormel look chips but are you just, do <laughs> chips are just crunchy spoons mm, edible um, spoons so uh but yeah just it's like edible panties but without the pretext the the <laughs> only thing i wish about elder scrolls online is I wish that there was like a proper single player mode or a proper multiplayer mode because the only thing that it has is, is a mass multiplayer mode. Right. Which, it's not great. At least it's not implemented well in ESO. There aren't... In fact, I struggle to think of any game that I've ever played that had, that had a mass multiplayer mode that I felt was well implemented since Ultima Online. Where I was like, boy, I'm really glad that I'm playing this with thousands of people. Yeah, in a way, ESO's multiplayer kind of just feels more like it's made for the sake of cashing in on the MMO craze when it was first released. And, like, you know, with the success of things like World of Warcraft and Guild of War. Guild of War? Guild of Wars. <laughs> Guild of Wars <clears throat> 2 online. <laughs> Um, it was, but like you have to hand it to the devs that they actually give a shit about content because they could have easily just phoned it in once they realized, you know, oh, it's just going to be yet another MMO experience, but no, they actually went the mile and made a world worth looking at. Yeah. Cause that's all I wanted to do when I played was I just wanted to go and see all the parts of Tamriel. Like, <laughs> as soon as everyone stopped playing the game with me, I just said, you know what? I'm going on a road trip. And I just walked all the way across, starting in Skyrim, and just walking as far east as I could go. Mm -hmm. Wait, Skyrim? No, Hammerfell. I started in Hammerfell, and I walked east to Skyrim. I was going to go to Cyrodiil, and then I discovered that Cyrodiil was their dedicated PvP area. And I'm like, mm -hmm. bullshit! Cyrodiil is one of my favorite places in this game, in this series, because it's just so pretty. Yeah. So I did. I did like Elsewhere's Desert. I yeah, was, like it's just it's just good, but. Yeah. The, the way the game feels, um, it really kind of just feels like I'm playing a single player Elder Scrolls game and then a bunch of fuckwads pop in every now and then to ruin the immersion. <laughs> and then I go back to playing an Elder Scrolls game. Like, you know, it's great that I can play with my friends, but I don't need 17,000 other people in the game to play with my friends. Just let me play with one dude. Yeah. Right. Like, and then maybe you can make, like, the quest actually, like, who, oh, I was playing with Cleo a little while ago, um, and I was like, I'll go with you on your quest, except I wasn't on her quest, so we were going through Vivek, and apparently the city was, like, the, the, f spoilers, I guess, the floaty, like, rock place. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, I forgot. 
I forget what that thing is called. But yeah. It's like that rock that the Vivek is holding up there. Yeah. Didn't Shale Gorath, like, hurl that down just to be a dick? I don't know. And then Vivek was like, no. <laughs> but apparently that was crashing down to Earth, and it was falling down. There were, like, yeah. there was shit, like, falling all over the place. Except I don't see any of that. <laughs> because even though I'm, like, in her party... I'm not, you're not, you're not part seeing, of her quest. So you're not seeing the events. Yeah. So while she's like, whoa, look at all this. You're just, it's a beautiful day. The birds are singing. The flowers yeah. are blooming. <laughs> and I'm like. On days like these. You know, I suppose. And while like yourself should be burning in hell. <laughs> and it's like, I, you know, there's, you know, like, oh, maybe it's because you're not in the same place in the story. Kinda, and I'm like, I don't care. Like, fuck spoilers. I just want to play with my friends. This sucks. It, it's this not. It's not as good if you're not experiencing what they're experiencing. Like, how lame would that be if we were playing Elden Ring together, and then I couldn't see the sec, the badass part two of the Horaloof of the Godwin. Fu- uh, God free fucking gods. <laughs> the God free fight because I wasn't part of his. I wasn't, you know, the main character in this story. So I just get to help him with the first part and then I sit there useless in a still room. Or just get ejected completely. Like, well, and I'm watching you just, huh, 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 uh, <laughs> but there's nothing. Ha- it's like that bit from SpongeBob with yeah. Patrick beating himself up. Yeah, it's just I don't know the multiplayer, and that's that's kind of what's frustrating to me is that the weakest part of Elder Scrolls Online is the multiplayer component, and if they just got rid of it, it would be without a doubt the best Elder Scrolls game. Nobody would argue with that. There's so much to do, it's so well written, it looks so good, the gameplay is actually, like, I know there's, like, classes or whatever, but there's plenty of, there's plenty of, uh, there's plenty of, like, uh, customization within the classes, and if it was, uh, if the gameplay was tuned for a single-player experience instead of, like, PvP, so you didn't have numbers in the tens of thousands (laughs) that mean nothing, (laughs) you know... (laughs) That was my favorite part about playing Ragnarok online on people's private servers. Because, you know, no one ever turned the numbers off because you needed to see the numbers right. to see how you're improving. But then, like, I got in, I actually got into a group event on one server. I think I was the rogue class. Mm-hmm. And I go in there, and here comes a boss. So we all just converge on it. The boss and literally everyone in the party disappears in a cloud of bright effects and just numbers. spewing numbers. It's like <laughs> from uh, from like, clips I've I seen. I know what I'm doing here. Yes, from clips I've seen that happens in Final Fantasy 14 too. Like I've seen clips of final boss fights, and it's just that. It's just staring at a like glowing ball of of magical damage and numbers. <laughs> um, yeah, it's hard to feel like you're actually playing with anyone. Just, they're yeah. there. They're sort of like your nor. They're sort of like your summons in other Souls games. The best? They, they, they're they just <clears throat> there. They're not part of your story. You're, they're not... They're, they're just there to help you. The best... MMO experience, like the best mass game with a mass multiplayer, uh, that mass multiplayer component that I have played since Ultima Online was Guild Wars 2. And that's because Guild Wars 2 did exactly what I've been saying the Elder Scrolls doesn't, which is you can just play with your friends. You join their party, you go on their quests. It doesn't matter if you've done those quests before. It doesn't matter if you've never gotten to that part of the game. You are part of their quest. When they talk with people, you see what they're saying, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you are a unit in that game. And that's all I really want. I don't want to play, I don't want to do raids with randos i mean sometimes that's okay but like that's not the primary reason anybody plays an mmo like here's what an mmo should do 
because like, you know, be a single player game. <laughs> like, I understand the point of an MMO is to try to be like, it's a social experience, right? right. So like, there's the, you know, I have had experiences where, you know, I play an MMO and I meet people who I would have considered friends while I was playing that. I never knew who they were before. I don't know who they actually are. But in the context of the game, there were people who were like, oh, hey, name of your character. You know, and then we'd hang out, we'd go do stuff. And that's cool. But <laughs> what I, every the social aspect of that ends the second I want to go out and actually do things, right? So make it so that all the socialness, the open socialness only happens in cities. The second you walk out onto the field, the only people that should be out there are you and your party members. Yeah, I agree. And then, there's nothing out in the field that's made better by other players being there. Right. In fact, in, in a lot of cases, it's made worse as you walk, as you watch, you're like, aha, there's the, the thing I've the been The herbs I've for. been looking for. And you watch some dude come up and be like, yoink, and take off. And, and, and especially great if you see them immediately chatting to their friends and say, yeah, I didn't need them anyway. I just grabbed them to be a troll. Hee hee hee. I mean, I, I don't need half the shit I grab. I just grab because I'm used to other Elder Scrolls games where you can use everything, whereas in Elder Scrolls Online, like, unless you're, like, specifically trained in this, picking herbs is completely pointless, because they're not worth anything, and... So, like... And, like, the only time you need that social aspect back is if you have an event that makes sense from a mass social standpoint, such as, oh, I don't know, Mayrune's Dagon attacking the city. Then throw... Then throw all the players at them. That's cool. But otherwise... Kind of. <laughs> like, what if I don't want to do that, though? Then leave. <laughs> Go to I, a new I city. I can't. They're attacking the city. <laughs> like, <laughs> hitch a ride to another city. <laughs> Just have a dude come in and be like, Mayron Stagon is attacking the city, and then everybody who wants to go fight Mayron Stagon just goes. Yeah. But like, um, like, I'm, I, I'm, again, as a person who has, who used to play a good deal of Ultima Online, I do not object to the concept of MMOs. I just, it's so rare to see any MMO where it needs to be an MMO. Yeah. Where, where, it, or where it even benefits from being an MMO. Yeah, again, it, it Elder ESO just feels like it was an online game for the sake of trying to be get the money that World of Warcraft did. I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately, I'm legitimately surprised that it has gone as long as it has. Well, again, the content is friggin' fantastic. Yeah, like it has, it clearly has a team behind it who really care about making something good which is not something you can say about a lot of game development companies anymore i'm just waiting for the day when they finally just say all right that's it we need to move on we've got eso2 now eso1 needs to be abandoned and then we can finally reverse engineer it and start having private servers of eso because then it will be what it was meant to be yahtzee does he does he rate things in I think I heard Mark Blair mention numbers of sixes. Like I give this four six-sided die out of six. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why don't we go ahead and uh, get started with the game? If you want to hit start, make sure we can hear things. Yes. Whoosh. All right. Well, let's switch over to game mode. Continue the adventures of Torpel. Go Torpel. Oh, he Go did zero purple. punctuation. Oh, yeah, it's called something else because it's like... There was that whole debacle, which I don't know enough about to go into any kind of detail on. And I don't feel like... I don't feel like just puking misinformation uh, right now. Maybe later. <laughs> what happens if you... What happens if you bonfire aesthetic this bonfire? Uh, stronger pigs. And skeletons. You have like one stronger skeleton, because there's just the one dude down in the in the hole, and you've got three pigs, and that's it. Anyways, I'm 
coming back right. here because there's something I forgot, but I remembered. You didn't really forget it, did you? Well, I, like, remembered it the other day. I was like, oh, right! That's where you find one of those. Uh, so this will be, you know, handy information for you to have as well. If I need it. If you haven't already gotten it. Yep, hold on. You can't target him. He's not an enemy yet. You're doing the freaking Obadiah stain thing where you're like, you blew up my targeting. Hold still, you little prick. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, they're going to run out of red slushy. Oh, my stamina. Whee. Get out of my way, chump. Uh, you know, game, I'm looking forward to never playing because I, I have serious doubts it's ever going to come to PC. Bloodborne? Uh, Final Fantasy 16. Mm. Do like, you actually know what that one's going to be about? It's already out. Go look it up if you want to oh, know. Oh, it is? Yeah, it's been out for a while. It's just, it's a PlayStation 4 exclusive at the moment. Or, excuse me, PlayStation 5 exclusive at the moment. I'm getting old. Oh, that dude got some ups. Yeah. Wee! <laughs> no, I ain't gotta pee. <laughs> uh. Uh. Boil down to everyone wants to cash in on people who did dedicate ah! MMOs, but it doesn't work out because people simply don't have the time to dedicate to more than one MMO, and it's really hard to pull people away to a new one. Yep, that's uh, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly the Magic: The Gathering situation is that there are a lot of games, there are a lot of competitors to Magic the Gathering, some of which are arguably better. There it is. And very, very few of them uh, manage to catch on. I would argue that Magic's primary competitors, which are Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, are only successful because they have the backing of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Um, like, uh, Hex was a digital competitor to Magic the Gathering, predated Magic the Gathering Arena, and I played it, I really liked it. I honestly think it was, it's mechanically better than Magic the Gathering, because it's literally Magic the Gathering, they got actually sued, but they, like, tweaked the formula a bit to take advantage of, uh, the digital format in a way that Magic Arena has kind of played with, but not really. Um, like in Hex, you could have like you could like permanently change cards. Like you'd be like, "This is my card. I'm gonna stick this gem on it. It's a new card now. That's different from everybody else's." It's almost like you remember like a uh, the Legacy board games where you could put stickers on shit. Oh yeah. It was almost like that, except trading card games. You could like stick a gem sticker on it. Now it's a better card. Hex was great. I actually enjoyed Hex more than Magic the Gathering, but Hex is nowhere near as popular as Magic the Gathering. Um, I've, I've seen so many games. Do you, do you remember, uh, what was it, Legend of the Seven Rings? Way back in the day when people still, like, went to card stores. <laughs> um, there was, you know, we, we, kind, we invested pretty heavily in um, a game that now I've forgotten the name of. <sighs> Serpent's Tongue. Oh, yeah. Serpent's Tongue was great. I I legitimately don't know if they're still in business. Would not surprise me if not. But Serpent's Tongue was an amazing concept. Um, but it's just like... You can't... It's, it's nearly impossible to compete with a giant like Magic. It's... Um, another good example of the same phenomenon is the Furfinity phenomenon. Yeah. Where periodically Furfinity will do some shitty garbage. <laughs> um... And everybody, and, you know, well, okay, not everybody, but lots of people will get real upset about it, and they'll start 
evacuating for affinity on mass for a couple of months. And then the artists will realize that not enough of their fan base have left. Like, not enough of their fan base have followed them for them to be able to justify the extra time of posting there or the loss of customers from not posting on FA at all. Oof. And then, so they'll stop being in those other websites and then the people who did follow those artists will be like, oh, well, they're not here anymore. I guess I have to go back to Fur Affinity. And now everybody's back on Fur Affinity and none, none of that mattered. Um... Oh, she was just being poisoned to death. Yep. Okay. I was like... Eat shit and die. Um, you have... Basically what it is, is, like... Think of it like planets forming, right? Like, you've got, like, these very... These smaller chunks of rock. Like, lots of small chunks of rock. But, like, one of them just happens to be the biggest one. So then all the other ones start to come crashing in. And then maybe, like... Maybe you'll get like a big impact that will launch a chunk of the planet away from the planet. But does it really get away? No. Now it's just a moon. It's still there floating around. You can't get away from the planet. Where are the rest of you ass wagons? So, yeah. I hear you. But we've watched we've watched a lot of MMOs come and go. Now. Dick. <laughs> See, probably the one I'm probably the one I'm the saddest about is Champions. Champions was great. Like we had so much fun playing Champions. Yes. Yeah. I'll never forget when we were Mario and Luigi. Easily my favorite MMO ever, and it didn't even go away. They just switched it to a free to play model, and when they did that, they ruined it because they like rebalanced everything to be free to play friendly, and it was, and it was just like, and now it was terrible even for people who were play, paying the subscription fee. Because it wasn't balanced good anymore. It was just like, can we just have MMOs that cost money and are good? Like, Free Realms? I'm not sure I remember that one. There was Granado Espada, which we quite liked. for Well, for a little bit. Yeah, it was fun. I think, I think it kind of fell off with us when we realized that we had put together a party combo where we didn't even need to be in the room because <laughs> um, the way Granado Espada worked was that uh, you didn't play a single character um, you had a family and then you would pull family members out and you would go and you would go out in a party of three so like I would go out with three members of my family right and then each of them would have a role and then I would kind of give tell them like what I kind of want them to do like I'd have like a thief and a healer and like a damage right and my thief would dash out from the little crew like you know the little triangle basically the thief would dash out every time he saw items or whatever and he would like snap that stuff up and the healer would heal us as was needed and then my damage dude would be doing damage um, it was a very interesting concept um, but what we discovered was that if the four of us were playing together, we had a small, we had a small team of 12 people and we could literally just sit there and let the, let the team do its thing and they would be okay. The talking flying squirrel with a mohawk. I don't remember that at all. Post links in bag of holding, Cobalt. I'm curious. Used to be like all the different weapons for different classes would give you a uni unique set of abilities, but then they changed it for every weapon of that class to use the same abilities. Gotcha. Yeah, like, 
that was something I liked about both Guild Wars and Elder Scrolls was that, which I think Guild Wars did this more than Elder Scrolls. Um. <laughs> well, now you're down there. What you gonna do, nerd? Um. Ah. <laughs> um. I really like that the equipment actually is more than just these are your numbers, right? Like, you would get different move sets depending on the equipment that you used. And Guild Wars 2 was also the only game I've ever played where I wanted to use massive fuck all swords. Oh, well, rip. <laughs> oh. And pew. Well, he's just doing a little stepping. What are you doing, you nerd? <laughs> uh, also, um, I will let you know that you have an opportunity to get some pretty kick-ass armor here. <laughs> Stay together, cheeks. Stay together, yeah. cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> like this is you have made him shit himself and now he's trying to deal with it. Oh, I can't get to the bathroom. Oh, Qua? He's out of range? That doesn't make any sense. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. you can't hit me. Ow, my shoulder. <laughs> Eat dicks and die. <laughs> Uh, you know, where are you shooting, sir? I feel like Free Realm sounds familiar. Like, I feel like I must have encountered it at some point. What were some other... Obviously, uh... Champions was supposed to be, like, the knockoff of the other superhero MMO. The one that was, like, Heroes... City of Heroes. Yeah, yeah. And then and series, of vil er, series of villains. Er, series of villains. A series of... Of unfortunate, of unfortunate villains. Of villains. <laughs> um, uh, City of Villains was the, like, expansion, kind of. Um, wow, you poisoned him real quick. Um, Get your sword, idiot. But honestly, I like Champions more. Champions... It has much better character creation. City of Heroes powers. felt DC-ish, and Champions felt Marvel-ish, I think. Well, also... <laughs> you know what I felt like in... I felt free in Champions. Mm. Like, I could... <laughs> hey, oh. He's got the arrow hat thing going on. In Champions Online, I could literally create anything I wanted for mm -hmm. my hero. Yeah. Whereas I feel like in City of Heroes, they were they would go well out of their way to make sure that nothing, no costume item could create like a copyrighted character. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like. I saw plenty of people in that game where they were like, Wolverine, Wolverine, Welveron. <laughs> yeah. I, they're I like, I want to be Wolverine, damn it. I saw so many Bitmen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something that I did like about that game was the ability to create, about champions, was that you could make alternate costumes. So like you'd have the same character but with like different costumes that you could switch between, which was cool. Cause I remember we made like, we made our main dudes, right? And then we also made silver age and like 2099 versions of them. And like, whereas like, okay, the silver age costumes all look stupid as hell. And the 2099 versions are all like maximum edge Lord. <laughs> Like, one of my favorite characters I made in that was I made a psychic monkey lady. <laughs> and I was like, this is the kind of character that... These are the kind of characters that I love in Marvel. It's just like the weird... Squirrel like, girl. Yeah, DC <laughs> wouldn't have a fucking psychic monkey in a business suit monkey lady in a business suit. In fact, I think that's why I think 
that's a really good just why I like Marvel and not DC. DC would not have a Squirrel Girl. Or if they would, she would be lame. Like, they, DC would not just lean into this stupid-ass character who, like, whooped Thanos' ass, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, that's not... Okay, Cobalt, thanks. I'll check it out when we're, when we're, uh, done that's with the stream we do. Again with this garbage of just... <laughs> do, 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 do. These dudes are not hard. Just go over there and let them come at you and you can poke him. Uh, do I want to do that fight? <laughs> I'm not exactly fire resistant. <laughs> Woo! Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, you could have gotten a backstab if you'd been a little braver. Stop! Dude, <laughs> fucking does. That's fucking karate. <laughs> Very nice. Um, do, 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 yeah, do. we did our, uh, overdrive and panic. Who, what was Cleo's character's name? I don't, oh, it's, hello. It's been so long since I've thought about really any of them, and the only reason I can think of overdrive and panic is that after that, we kept doing stuff with overdrive and panic. Which... Uh, Overdrive and Panic were superheroes that were based on our personas. Uh, Overdrive's, uh, Overdrive's whole deal... Uh-oh. I pulled the lever. It's not the lever. Oh, did I pull... Is there a different lever? Yes. We. That fucking Ninja Turtles flip. I pulled that one, that just lowers... That just lowered the bridge, right? <laughs> wow. What? Three, four. <laughs> what? What's your fucking problem? <laughs> Ass wagon. <laughs> Five. We. <Whee! laughs> Okay. Alright, so... I'm counting how many times you've walked straight past it. You mentioned Panda Poison, that guy, that's like the main thing the Chandler's Triton is good for, because a one-handed strong attack is a multi-hit at the sweet spot. Yes. I'm just, it's just... I, I feel like nothing that I've ever done makes poison go faster. Wait, is that the thing that turns it off? I don't know. Maybe you should try rotating it. Well, because I thought it was a fucking door. I was like, oh, I don't want to open that. It will just explode my face. Yay! <laughs> Fight Dragon Boner. Um, but yeah, Ooh, so all this stuff. So overdrives. Ah, uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> Cobalt, you're an asshole. <laughs> I think he went earlier with arrows, <laughs> like when it would like blow up and hurt the dude, <laughs> and not you. <laughs> I didn't even know what he was talking about before, so I come over and I'm like, oh, the smokestacks. Cobalt wanted me to hit these. Poke. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Overdrive's whole deal was that... Uh, I forget whether it was just naturally this way or if, it's, if he'd had, like, some kind of, like, radioactive, hyperactive spider bit him or something, but, like, his whole deal was that he was... His attention span was so short that he perceived everything in, like, hyper time, and that made him, like... Uh, if I recall in, your had super speed. in our origin story, we said that you had seen Family Guy the movie. <laughs> right, that was it. I watched Family Guy the movie and I came out with an attention span so short that I had super speed now. <laughs> and uh, 
Panic's whole deal was that he was so angry that things would just explode to get out of his way. <laughs> no, come on. No drop. No head. Break skateboard. This place is spooky. Do 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 do. I fucking hate it. Do 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 Nerd. This this area needs music, so I'm gonna put some on. <laughs> Throwing some Donkey Kong. No, it bonk. We need a horny jail bat. I can just <laughs> slam on the camera. Get a yaoi paddle. There you go. <laughs> Please, kid. Ooh, the Thunder Force. Boosh. We. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm running into an issue very, very quickly, which is that I have all these VODs that I need to process into YouTube videos, and they're stacking up. Uh oh. Because <laughs> if they're not, they're not soup. Because it's they're tens of gigabytes that I have to transfer over there, then down, then load onto the heart, then load onto the local drive, and then, uh, and then I have to throw them into Premiere and do the editing, which is a little tricky because, oh, my flesh. um, 4K footage, that computer is not very happy with four, like, 4K Take footage, right? Like, for <laughs> editing 4K footage is a lot to ask of that computer. Which normally would be fine, like, if I was doing just like, like if I was doing a fully edited video, I would just make proxies, right? And right. then, and then I'd use those, and that would go a lot faster, but it takes quite a while to turn a four hour 4K video into a proxy, just so that I can go, okay, crop out the intro, crop out the intermission, slap in a this is an edited VOD, and then publish it. That's a lot of time just for that. So, I just have to deal with the fact that the... 4K footage takes a while to work with, and it's just kind of a pain. <laughs> so it's 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 starting to stack up. Like this is something that is such a small job that we could probably easily just pay somebody. You know, like I'm sure somebody would happily do just that for like ten bucks a video. Because it, it really takes very little time ah. to do the editing. Like, I like once I get it onto the computer, it takes, like, ten minutes to do the edits, and then I just... Drop. And then I just, uh... Oh, hey. I got the leggings. So that's um, a start. So I'm not going to tell you why, but I will tell you that given your build, it might behoove you to fight the smelter demon. There's a man over there. <laughs> the, the jump. <laughs> I literally did not see him. Oh, there's another guy. But yeah, like, I'm sure, like... Whoops. That's terrifying. Ah, that's more terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah. we could probably readily just pay somebody to do that, just to keep our VODs going up over there. But... Oops. Well, but that would mean finding a way to stick tens of gigabytes of like hundreds of gigabytes of video footage per week someplace online where they could get them and that's a goddamn nightmare you might be willing to give it a shot well um Hit me, hit me up, give me, send me a private message in the, hit me up in the Discord. I will discuss it with you because the main, the main obstacle, like, we need to get, we need to get you, like, 
I think you said that you were familiar that like Premiere yeah. was your No, no, <laughs> you tried. I think you said Premiere was your uh field of thing. <laughs> field of things. You know Premiere? Good. Um because like Premiere is what I use and um if you use Premiere, that makes my life easier because once you do... No, you asshole! <laughs> I wanted that. <laughs> Whatever you had. Because once you do the edits, um, you don't even necessarily do the renders. You just need to do... You just need to do the edits, and then you can send me the Premiere file, and I can render them on the game computer here. Or, if you want, you can do the render and upload it to the YouTubes. And then I can just do the, I can just do the final stuff. Whoa, look at the side-stepping asshole. I have to do the thumbnails too, which is also a pain, but... Eat shit. Like, well, there's only one thing left to do. Uh... Do you know what the main issue with the thumbnail is? And it's why I've learned... Like, who was, who was I? Oh, I was watching Genetically Modified Skeptic, and they mentioned that at one point, they were like, okay, let's do the, let's do the pose for the thumbnail. And I was like, really? They do, like, poses? Oop, hold on. Let me just, uh, click there my dude here. Where are my mod tools? Uh, bam, please. Get out of here. Um, so, anyway, what was I talking about before the dude needed the bannon? Uh, you're talking about thumbnail poses. Oh, yeah. And I was like, really? People just, like, just do the pose for the thumbnail? Like, and then, and then having done some thumbnails, I realize why that is. Because, like, when I'm trying to figure out, like, thumbnails... I then have to go through and watch a four-hour video to find that moment in the video that would make a good thumbnail, right? Right. So it's like, if you just do a thumbnail pose, like, this is the thumbnail pose, eh, now you don't have to do that anymore, right? You're just like, oh, this is the thumbnail pose, do it right at the end of the video. Um, which... You know, for us, where we don't typically use faces, like our faces and our thumbnails, um, and in so doing, cripple our YouTube presence. <laughs> um, Where's the lever? That indicates the guillotine. Keep going. There it is. Why were you, like... Because I didn't know where it was, and I didn't know if it was up or not, so I was like... No, I didn't the guillotine... Want I didn't want to get guillotined. Guillotine doesn't go up until you pull the lever. No, come back, asshole. Um, Pew! God damn it. Like, he treats that as a wall, so, like, if you're on the other side of it, he doesn't. Womp. <laughs> he knocked out of the Shit air. Shit sack. <laughs> You're poisoned now. Nerd. Um But yeah, so that's like that's one of the that's one of the things that holds me back on making thumbnails is that I have to sit there watching this video dedicated for like four hours to find that one moment where I'm like, oh yeah, that's a thumbnail. Uh, you know, like that that image on screen. That's that's a thumbnail because I also don't want to just do the thing that I we did for a long time Which was just stick the box art on the on the thumbnail with an episode number and call it a day Ow. <laughs> You know what I mean like right. um, But I mean if that gets VODs up, maybe there's a ladder there. Yeah, what the hell? Why always ladders? I can't see ladders! <laughs> uh, this stream is a charity stream, actually, for <laughs> those suffering from ladder blindness. 
Four out of five men have ladder blindness and will die in a horrible accident re revolving around not seeing a ladder. <laughs> this isn't a condition. I'm a member of the Church of Latter-day Sites. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, bonfire. Oh, that's what that missing bonfire was. I didn't actually know the bonfire was up here. I just knew Me there was neither. a ladder here. What's, what's up the stairs? Uh, a lever. Friends? Friends? Okay. What the fuck are what these is... holes? Oh, these are the holes. These are the eye holes of the... Oh. You're in the... You're in the bullhead. <laughs> Neat. You are the brain of the bullhead. Oh. I'm not sure that was a good thing. <laughs> oh, is that all that did? I was hoping it would like do something to the boss area, like the... Like put in a little bit of... Like fill that one hole. <laughs> yeah. Like that, yeah, just that one hole that's there just as, as a middle finger from FromSoft. Uh, let me actually go up here and... Can you turn it back on again? <laughs> I don't know. I was just gonna go up here and warp back to Majula so I could use some souls. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, because now you don't have to do the whole thing that every I did single every time. single time. Oh, yeah, I can pull it again. Oh. Neat. I kind of don't want it on though, because I also kind of want to try killing those guys a few times to see if I can't get the regular armor. Because it is an improvement over my old ironclad. Well, like I said, there is armor available to you there that I think might be superior to what you have. Oh, she's doing the leg kicky thing. Doop, doop, doop. I like the leg kicky thing. She is the cutest. Yes. Of the maidens. Bearer of the curse. Seek so seek the king. Lest this Wanna know something about her? What? She's part dragon. Oh. I was hoping you were gonna say she doesn't wear any underwear. But I mean like part dragon's good too. <laughs> The question is, though, she's part dragon. What part of her is dragon? <laughs> it's horny stream! Let's go! <laughs> her left nipple. <laughs> oh. That's not... I. That doesn't feel like, uh... That doesn't feel like, you know, like, half dragon. That feels like a congenital defect. <laughs> like, oh, my left nipple is dragon. Alright, my... Poise isn't going up from adaption. Do they? Is it still medical? Do they medically still call it a congenital defect or disorder, or, is it, or have they changed that to something like? How come you got punished because you don't run this place? <laughs> yeah, no one said this was a democracy yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> we are the gods of controller tape. We are the kings of horny. So, Adaption isn't giving me poison anymore, but Endurance is. Giving you poison what? Resistance? If you want poison bonus, you're ready no, for Dexterity. No, not poison. Poise. Oh, poise. Like, it was giving me pretty hefty poise increases, but not, it has since stopped. That's interesting, because Adaptation has been cranking my poise. Yeah, but I, I get poise. I wonder if there's, like, different thresholds where if you raise your poise... Like, if you I raise get. your adaptation to a certain point, like, it doesn't raise poise, well, but I then you hit a threshold, and now it starts cranking poise. I think my adaptation is lower than yours. Yes, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. I'm wondering if there's a threshold at which it starts cranking your poise. Huh. Well, I would like a little more... You no, know I would like a lot more stamina. <laughs> I mean, yeah, stamina would probably be good for you if you're kind of going for this tanky build. Because more blocks, more rolls, more more hitting. Don't hit mommy. Uh, also, I would like while we're, I would like to talk with you about potential games for Cleo to play because we've decided Draken is sucks and we don't want to do it anymore. Like, um, like we've kind of gotten into this grinding loop. Um, but the reason for that is that Cleo has reached a point where uh, grinding is more interesting to her than anything the game wants her to do. <laughs> oof. Big <laughs> oof. <laughs> um, we can't play grounded. Um, so we need... Uh, so we're looking... So like what retro games 
She can play up to PlayStation, maybe Nintendo 64, but I have to look and find out what the what the N64 emulator and RetroArch is like. Because my go-to is Project 64. I think the one that RetroArch uses is Moopin 64, which... Um, I've never really used Moopin, so I don't know if it's actually good or not. I suppose I could fiddle around with it and find out. Um, I don't want to play Pal World. I, I have almost no interest in Pal World. Um, like... I'm, I'm legitimately shocked that a game that looks as much like an asset flip as Pal World does is as popular as it is. Um, but like, I thought about maybe, uh, I thought about maybe, um, Harvest Moon. Uh, a true horror game. The horror of tedium. Um, uh, I was about to go do specific something. Plus, oh. I, I have, uh, I have no doubt, there's no doubt in my mind that Nintendo is going to find some way to crush Pal World. Like... I know that, you know, obviously he's like, oh yeah, you know, it's, it's parody, etc, etc. And it's like, yeah, sure, but just because a, just because a defense is reasonable doesn't mean that defense is going to work because winning in court is not always about having the upper ground the higher ground legally there there are a lot of cases there are a lot of cases that settle that shouldn't need to settle I think this dude is just gone nope there he is I don't think he can be poisoned you don't think parody covers take... See, here's the thing, though. It it kind of does. Um, because, like... Oh, he is poisoned. Ah. I feel like maybe just hold your shield up. Um... Because imagine for a second, right? Do you remember way back in the day when we did a Berenstain Bears gag on one of our YouTube videos, one of our ye olde videos from literally ten years ago? Um, and we did, and we did the Berenstain Bears gag where Panda did. Panda and I, he did the art, and then I did the layouting. Right? We did. Uh, a parody cover of Berenstein Bears. Panda did that art style so well that you could probably show that to a person and pass it off. Like, maybe not that one, but like if I had Panda try to do an actual Berenstein Bears book, he could probably do it well enough that it would be indistinguishable from the actual Berenstein Bears. So, that being the case, you know, that, that definitely qualifies as parody, even if it's so good, you legitimately can't tell. And honestly, that's kind of what makes for some of the best parody, is that you don't necessarily, like, some of the best parody and satire, you don't necessarily realize as satire slash parody until you're into it a bit, right? Right. Um, so, e 
I think you could, I think they could make an argument if something is parody that taking the actual things are required depending on the nature of the parody. But that would be, that would be a tough legal battle and it would cost a lot of money. Um, so, but there are also some, there are also some elements, uh, there are also some elements that are just not copyrightable. Like you look at Pikachu and it's like, yeah, if you take all of these things combined, you know, yeah, that's clearly Pikachu, right? God damn it. But like, you can't copyright red circles on the cheeks, right? You can't, uh, you can't copyright a, th a crooked tail. Um, I got the gauntlets. So like, all you need to do is make sure that it's visually distinct. But then you also have to run into the whole, then you also run into the whole, like, can a lay person tell the difference? And what I have learned, um, what I have learned from watching webs, from watching people like Leonard French, is that lay people are really stupid. <laughs> like, like, I'll be looking at two, like, two very obviously different things. And then find out that lay people decided that they were too close to be that they were close enough to be the same thing. It's like, what, really? Um. Well, that's the thing. Parody doesn't necessarily have to be a parrot. Doesn't necessarily have to take aim at the thing that it's borrowing from. For example, Weird Al's music uh, is classified as parody, but Weird Al's music very rarely takes aim at what the song originally was. Like, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is... Uh... Uh... Uh, what was the name? The Nirvana one, where he was he was making fun of Nirvana and nobody can understand their lyrics. But like, like a surgeon doesn't make fun of Madonna or the song. Um, so, I'm not I'm not defending it, Power Stone. I'm not saying that it is parody or satire. All I'm saying is you can make the art that's like you could use the you could conceivably argue that you that you have to rip off the exact thing in order to do the parody or satire. And I'm also saying that that parody or satire doesn't necessarily have to take aim at the original thing. So they could conceivably have arguments to take in court. What I'm also saying is that having those arguments doesn't necessarily guarantee them a victory in court. Um, like, whoever the Power World people are, do they have the financial fortitude to survive a complex, very complex legal battle with Nintendo? I somehow doubt it. So, like, I have a feeling that if Nintendo decided to take them to court, it wouldn't matter if Nintendo had a leg to stand on. Pal World would probably lose just on the basis of not being able to survive the battle and needing to settle just to make Nintendo go away. There's the armor. Yay! Is it heavier? No, it's the no. exact same weight. It's just, you know... Better, but you're going to need to spend some time leveling it up. Yes. Anyways. I got the gloves. I got the boots. <clears throat> and now I've got this bullshit. Poison's not going to help me here. Uh, 
do I have? I do have a couple of resins. Of the lightning variety. So we'll try that. And well, I guess here we go. Um, well, to be, to be clear, they might not have been able to do a cease and desist based on the showcases because there might not have been anything in the showcases that was actionable. Now that the full game is out, you can bet that they're going over it with a fine tooth comb to try to find anything. Obviously, they couldn't look at every aspect of the game, and now I must be quiet, it's focus time. Seriously? Seriously? Wow. He's, he's do, a, do a thump. Oh my fucking Christ. You're being a real dick. What the actual hell? What is going on? This is the worst pattern of all time. And I wasted my... Well, you do have one more. It's too bad you don't have any light bolt arrows. Oh, oh, cool. Now he's doing something. What? What's he doing? Oh, he's coming over here. Oh, this is great. <laughs> What is going on? I've never seen this before. Like, do you have to be close, like, real close to him to trigger a thump? Eh. Great, oh, she she's got dead. knocked off. It's only a matter of time now. This is kind of crazy. Although, again, you are nowhere near in range for thumping, so he's probably not going to do thumps. Oh, here he goes. Danger. Ugh. Give him the wax. See, part of me is like, go, Panda, go! And part of me is like, get him, Iron King! <laughs> Eat shit! Damn. Is Leonard posting anything on YouTube anymore? I don't think I've seen anything from him in my subscription feed. Is he only streaming? Or did YouTube, or is YouTube just being a douchebag to him? This has happened before. I did get randomly unsubscribed from Linus Tech Tips a while back. They used to have to me constantly. I was, <laughs> I was constantly Having to go in and resubscribe to Game Grumps, Markiplier, hi Aldia. <laughs> Shithead. <laughs> what a dude. Except that one guy, like, a few days ago, but, eh, fuck him. 
fledgling hollow, young hollow, small hollow. Do I look like a young man to you? I am a sophisticated adult. Actually, you kind of do look like a 17 year old who managed to grow a kicking mustache so that he could get beer without getting carded. <laughs> That, that's the true lore of Torpal. He looks <laughs> like a 35-year-old, 40-year-old, happy, jovial adventurer. He's actually 17. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Behold, the 50-year-old child. I will look like this until I am 83, and then everything will just collapse around me. <laughs> I mean, listen... Fat fills out wrinkles. <laughs> Fat people don't tend to look as wrinkly as as thin people. Unless they got wrinkly, like real wrinkly, and then got fat, and then like it fills out weird. Well, then like, they just imagine, look like a balloon with like lines drawn on them. <laughs> no, imagine like all the creases, but the fat doesn't fill into the creases. It fills into this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because that's what my gut did. Then like, I've been wearing pants at a specific waistline for a long time. And my fat didn't balloon out. <laughs> and force me to get, like, force my pants out. No, my fat grew over the belt. <laughs> and then under the belt. <laughs> you I've wondered, I've seen that with a few people, and I've just wondered how, how this happens. <laughs> How could this happen to me? <laughs> uh, oh. See, this is where I fail Panda because I, part of me is like, I could help him like do like an exercise routine thing, but then I would have to do an exercise routine. <laughs> oh. More endurance, more adaptation. I really adaptation. Adoption. 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 More adoptions! I've adopted 273 wilts. I've adopted 273 pounds <laughs> of butter! I went into a pastry shop and adopted 270 pounds of pastry. Oh my god! Yay! I'll, I'll Although, I don't know why you're freaking out about this. McDuff has large shards too. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. Lies. <laughs> he has he has large shards. She will get even bigger stuff later. Visit me again. Shut up. <laughs> Imagine walking into a, like a bakery and you're like, I would like a cake, please. And they're like, here you go. Hope we see you again. And you're like, shut up. And then you leave cramming the entire <laughs> cake in your face. <laughs> now, I already know what all the souls do and that... I I already know that there are no like large souls that give me anything. Yeah, he I doesn't want. have large type nice shirts. No, that's that's Lanagrass. They said McDuff. Oh. God damn it, you made me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste my time. I'll waste your time with your face. Oh, oh, oh you, I need regular type shards. Regular ass type shards, shards yep. Because I haven't started. But and this requires chunk. I a chunk is a word that I'm really on the fence about. Like, I don't know whether or not I like the word chunk. <laughs> chunk. <laughs> what was a word just recently that I heard where I was like, truly this is truly this is like an S tier word. Oh, dunk. That dunk, was it. Yeah. We got we got the, the, the Oreo the space dunk space dunk cookies. And I was like space dunk. <laughs> The dunk top S tier. Like there, there are some words that just sound perfect, are perfect. Well done, creators oh, of English. Now I'm out of souls, God. Be well, you do have the, you do have the. Uh, it doesn't make anything I want. I'm not really using advanced pyromancy. Have you saved ornifacts? Yeah. So you could go ask. Ornifacts, or you could get out your phone and cheat and look it up. I'm gonna <laughs> look it up because it's gonna be the same waste of time. <laughs> That's true. But this waste of time would get you some souls on the way from killing stuff. 
Um, but um, but um, but yeah, just I've seen I've seen Pal World, and it just I don't know. I know that lots of people enjoy it. I also know that it's like one of the most successful video games of all time in terms of active players, like the number of people playing it. Like, it shot up to the number one most played game on Steam instantly. Um, although I suspect that a lot of that was just memes. Like, people playing it on stream and for YouTube and shit, just because, like, it's... Like, look at this stupid-ass fucking game! <laughs> um... But, I, I would guess that a lot of people picked it up for that reason. And then it was like, I know people who are having fun with it, so it's good enough for them to have fun with. So my armor right now is 235 at plus seven. Yes. Keep going. It's now, it will be better at plus six. So it is better. Not a ton better, but it looks better. Yes. And as we all know, that's all that matters. And we'll go ahead. Fashion souls. Blink. Get better pants. Focus. Focus on... Well, see, I'd say focus on pants, but that's the conventional wisdom, because sometimes it's the glooves. Yeah, every now and then it's like... All right. Do, 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 do. Wow, that bleed resist though. Nice. Plink. A. Now you don't look now rusty I'm... as hell. Aren't you gonna switch your gloves? Yes. Just plus one is better. Yeah. Than my plus two. Boosh. Yay. Woo! Now you look slightly less shitty. I'm Which, truly am a knight in shining armor. Granted, isn't because it's it's just the nature of iron is that it tends to come out looking pitted and terrible. This is true. Well, onward forward. Only barely tangentially related. I have never figured out how to use an iron skillet. Oh yeah, like they just because you're supposed to season it and then like not really wash it it's got to get seasoned with all the shit that you burn on it yeah, and it's not even it's like i see people using an iron skillet and somehow stuff comes off of it anytime i've ever cooked anything on a skillet it doesn't matter how much butter i put in or pam or oil or whatever the egg sticks to the fucking pan and it's all over <laughs> i don't know how skillets work ouch Nerd! <laughs> Did you hear it? I know how to use a microwave better than I know how to use an iron skillet. What did you drop? A sunlight bill. Which... I don't know what that is. Here's a secret to using a microwave to cook shit. Do not cook on full power. If you're... If the microwave doesn't have a way for you to change the power level, don't buy it. That's... It will ruin all your food. You want to use your microwave on low power settings, cook low power for longer. And if you think about it, that's just conventional cooking wisdom. Would you cook literally every part? Like, you know, if someone, uh -oh. if, if you were going to make, I don't know, uh, what's stir fry, right? You're going to make stir fry on the stovetop, right? Do you make stir-fry with the stove top turned to maximum heat for the entire time? When you go to cook a lasagna, do you turn the oven to maximum <laughs> heat and then just keep an eye on it and like hope that the uh, five yes. minutes... My preferred... My preferred dundas of lasagna. Black. <laughs> uh, on fire, consuming house. <laughs> like... You don't want to cook stuff at the maximum temperature. It has a tendency to burn things, make things chewy, desiccate them. You know, you want to turn down the microwave. Unfortunately, that does tend to mean that you kind of have to watch things 
but you know, you you fiddle around with it. You fiddle around getting like, how long do you actually cook a hot pocket for? You know, the hot pocket says cook it on high for what two minutes, but like you'll probably get better results cooking it on you know five for three minutes or maybe even four minutes. You know, you just you gotta you gotta because every microwave is a little different, so you kind of gotta fiddle. But once you got your, you know... Gotta fiddle that faddle. Keep a little black book. Be like, okay, Hot Pockets, setting oh. six, three minutes, and now you know. But it's... You should almost never cook anything in the microwave on high power. Um... I feel like I'm missing a step, and I'm about to be sorely disappointed. Um... I don't know. Winter. Uh, no, you're. No, oh, no, oh, okay. Here I come to do some things. You feel so thumpy. Well, I am thumpy. That's what they called me in college. <laughs> thumpy. I'm like, I'm not thumpy, I'm poor. I was very dumb in college. <laughs> Which is why I didn't get my civil engineering degree. If only I'd gone for philosophy, where it's okay to be stupid. My philosophy is stab things. <laughs> that was a completely that was a completely unnecessary dig at philosophy majors. <laughs> like we need philosophy majors. We don't have enough of those. <laughs> <laughs> You're running around like, you can't hit me, you can't thunk. <laughs> oh, try to hit me now, try to hit me now. He ow, he ow, he ow, ow, he. <laughs> like, has it occurred to anybody that maybe the reason why we don't have a new economic system that's really good is because we've like completely crushed the concept of people who think for a living like oh no you shouldn't go take philosophy you can't get a career in philosophy what a useless waste of time the entire point of college isn't education it's so you can get a job are you shooting lightning things at me yes you garbage monsters Whoop. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Did that one dude kill you on his way to death? <laughs> he might have given me a bit of a bonk. I'm sitting here pressing X because I'm trying to press the top button to pick up items. <laughs> Stop playing Elden Ring in between the game. You're only hurting yourself. <laughs> Never. It's part of the challenge. <laughs> Dranglake. Dranglake. Kill. <laughs> no, come back here. Stop, you swine. <laughs> swine. Random clown you just cycles and a dude gets stuck on his balancing pole and he just goes, I went to cloud school because I couldn't act. <sighs> Hello. How did you get here before I did? <laughs> Also, why am I covered in glitter? <laughs> it's the it's the rain. This castle oh, okay. is isolated. <laughs> I thought it was just sparkling why? like some kind of twilight garbage vampire. <laughs> to bring an end Imagine to a vampire who looked like this boy. though. <laughs> yes, hello! I let him into my house, he seems so happy. It's like I want that in my life. Whatever it is that makes you so happy. And you become a vampire, and then you're like, I'm not happy. And he goes, well, the secret wasn't vampirism. It's Pilates. <laughs> you should get the Mastodon armor and use that. I'm not sure how it compares to, uh... I'm not sure how it compares to the old ironclad set. Like, um, poise wise. What the fuck? Surely oh. it's cool. Hey, Mastodon armor. Yes, but how does it look? It looks like this! 
That's pretty dope. This is pretty dope. Doesn't have the big ass turtle shell, but also the big ass squishy turtle shell. That doesn't move. It moves a little too. Uh, That's been always a problem in these games, like playing Skyrim, and you put on the iron armor, and you're like, well, it's you know, it's rough looking, but I look like a fucking big Chad while wearing it, and then you run. It's like square, square. The worst one is like the Imperial, mm -hmm. the Imperial steel armor. Like, it looks fucking fantastic. It's one of my favorite armor sets in the game. But mm -hmm. then, like, it's a solid piece with no riveted bits. Yeah. But the shoulders warp and move as if it's made out of leather. Yeah, like, but part of that is just that it's hard. Because, like, if you look at this suit of armor, right? It consists of a whole bunch of, like, overlapping parts. And it can be really hard to... Uh, it can be really hard to do the vertex weighting. No, come back here. This way. Whoa. Oh. There we go. <laughs> it can be really hard to do vertex weighting for overlapping parts like that in a way that makes sense and doesn't result in a shitload of clipping that looks terrible. So... You kind of have... So you kind of have a situation where you either have... To, you either have to spend an enormous amount of time planning out how, like, the pieces move, or you have to just accept that there's going to be a bunch of clipping, or you have to have stretchy metal. Well, I would like to point out how much clipping there is already with most of the animations when you're wearing huge armor. Hell, like, playing Elden Ring, I put on big, flowy clothes, and my clothes were clipping the fuck in the torrent all the time. Like, he had red cloth butt going on. Well, right, but that's two completely different models. Ow, 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 and ow. They are hit hard. It's almost as if this is like the one of the last areas of the game. <laughs> <laughs> and everything here is buffed to hell and back. And I'm making footprints. <laughs> why, why did you turn into a dog? <laughs> Weren't there three dudes? Blah 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 Good job, you're getting through this before he even has a chance to open his mouth. Who are you? Welcome. He gets very confused. Useless. Does he have, like, good bolts, or is it just arrows? Uh, he's got some, like, lightning and shit, so I might need some of that. Why not? Give me 147 of them. Boosh. There went all your souls. Good. Do <laughs> <clears throat> you have anything else to say? Nope. Goodbye. What is this pattern on the door? Um... Plaid. That's the fanciest plaid I've ever seen. <laughs> You're still in dog mode. That's the fanciest plaid I've ever seen. <laughs> Sometimes you just turn the wade. Sometimes you just dog. <laughs> well, this was a waste of time. I don't know where to go. It's been so long and I wasn't paying attention. Do, 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 do. And now you're poisoned. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a one inch poke. This guy is like high level. Sh <laughs> Look at that. Like if that hits me, I die instantly. That's the one inch death poke. <laughs> eh. And all my organs just fly also, out my spine. Those footprints are not your footprints. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boom, 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 boom. What what dainty little footprints? It's like if a, you've it's, got a you've got a cheap fur suit syndrome going on there. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> like imagine this is like if a yeti walked by, like a fucking bigfoot, but he's somehow only walking on like the ball, the <laughs> one ball of his foot. 
He's got foot muscles that pull up the outsides of his foot. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Yay! Hooray! Now, I don't I think I picked that up. I don't... I haven't picked up any... Shit. Hmm. Excuse me. I haven't picked up any Estus shards. I have a maximum of four right now. Oof. And I don't know where they all are. Ah! This poison, though, is helping me. Sure Quite is. Do, do, do. do so, do, do. see. Ow. Ow. Do, 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 what do, other, do. uh. What other potential options are there to throw at Cleo? Uh, see. Like, part of me just wants to keep throwing garbage at her. Uh, nightmare creatures? What the hell? What is nightmare creatures? I think it's a PS1 horror game. Because, like, horror was an option, but it's not necessarily required. Uh, you could make her play, uh... You could make her play Banjo-Kazooie and see if your friendship ends. Because... Because I hate myself and want to die and leave the channel forever. <laughs> It'd be a fun thing where it's like... Like, don't even tell her that you think it's dumb. Just be like, you can play cra cra uh, Crash Bandicoot. You can play Banjo-Kazooie. And then <laughs> she plays and she's like, oh, this game is fun. You're like, we are no longer friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true test of friendship. Boop. Um, I mean, we are probably never going to finish Parasite Eve. Maybe she would be into it. Parasite Eve is another option. She likes RPGs, and she's thinking, like, maybe horror. She could play FF8. She could play FF8. You know, or the nine. one that everyone is like, maybe this one is garbage. And then she plays it, and she's like, oh, this is nice. I kind of don't want her first Final Fantasy experience to be potential trash, though. Has she literally never played a Final Fantasy? Nope. Not even 15? Nope. Not a single Final Fantasy. Um... The... At least to my knowledge, she never played it while we were together, and I don't... No, I need to... And she hasn't... It's, it's not really something that's really come up in her radar. You know what I mean? Have her play Mystic Quest. You know what? Mystic Quest is not the worst one. And if you can get past the fact that it's easy as shit, it's not actually even that bad. It's just... You know, if, you, if you've played other Final Fantasy games, you may find Mystic Quest to be insultingly easy. But taken on its own... Oh dear. They're made of stone. Oh, yeah, that's what's going on. Flee. Like... Perhaps a different weapon is needed here. <sighs> Whoa, and I wrong. need to take things easier. But, like... Yeah, there we go. I don't want... I don't... Like, if I'm gonna hand her Final Fantasy, I don't want to give her what I think is the best one. But I also don't want to give her, like, a garbage one either. Like, I kind of want to give her... It's like, I don't want to be like, here's the best Final Fantasy, and now every other Final Fantasy from here is oh, downhill. fuck. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> if you walk away slowly... <laughs> but there's a chest in there. And I fought one of these guys before, right? Uh huh. Re. Yeah, I'm not doing bad damage. Just keep it um. smooth. Ow! There you go. Eat shit. Um. Yeah, I don't want to like Oops. give her the best that was one. Okay. I don't and see then. Teeth. <laughs> 
I don't want to give her like the best one and then just have all Final Fantasies from there just be downhill. But I also don't want to give her like the worst one and then be like, no, but all the rest are better now. And she'll be like, no, I hate this. I don't want to ever touch a Final Fantasy game as long as I live. And <laughs> dumb. <laughs> My face. <laughs> His head is now mushroom shaped. <laughs> seems better, but it's no traveling merchant hat. No traveling merchant hat gives me items. That's true. So, like, I'm trying to think, like, if I were gonna do Final Fantasy, like, which one would I start on? I wouldn't want to do 6. I don't think I'd want to do 15. We couldn't do 15 anyway. Um, so, like, we'd be able to do up to 9 easily, and depending on Retroarch, we might be able to do 10 and 12 and then everything past that is either an MMO or that was that was a fat roll right there when oh. did you when did you start fat rolling probably when I put on the legs because up until recently I've been wearing but the... you have a royal soldiers ring now take a look at that Dun, 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 dun. It's up there. Uh, Increase maximum load. No. By a holy shit. Holy hell! What the fuck? Uh, I don't need the life ring. At this point, it's not yeah. too much. Boop. Woo! <laughs> Yay! I'm no flipping Havel, but. Nah. Nah. There we go. Are you going to provide light here, Mr. Sir? Yes, but he does something else, too. Yeah, I'm not sure why I went with uh, Back to the Future. Um, so, like, maybe, maybe four? Four might be a good jumping in point? <coughs> One, no... One was a good jumping in point for people who had never seen any other Final Fantasy game ever, and now it's like nostalgic and shit. Right. <laughs> but like, if you want that sort of one-y experience, I'd say go with three, I think. Like, if you want that sort of classic feel, but, you know, like, with a story of some kind. Like... Almost the entirety of Final Fantasy 1's story was told to you in the end credits. <laughs> like, okay, okay, you won the game, good, good, good job. Let me explain to you what happened. <laughs> Your reward for winning is knowing <coughs> what the hell was going on. Arguably. <laughs> Oh, you're in a like unfortunate location. I think I think Final Fantasy One definitely its place now is definitely in nostalgia and historical significance more than what a good game. Do, 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 do. No one else had treasure. You guys all suck massive dicks. Dicks. <laughs> dicks. <laughs> bark, bark, um, bark, 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 bark. So, like, Final Fantasy 2, I mean, that's not bad. It's busted, but if you don't know how it's busted, maybe it wouldn't seem so busted. Uh, Final Fantasy V? Uh, Final Fantasy V... My thing about Final Fantasy V is that its tone... Is that its tone is really weird. It's a bit goofy. It can't decide whether it wants to be serious or goofy. And what... The way that it flip-flops... Doesn't quite work for me, at least. It's a bit Toriyama-esque. You know? Yeah. Where it's like... Uh, super serious boo fight cuts now it's time for the Mr. Satan bits <laughs> kind of uh Thor love and thundery who's existing 
Who's existing? I hear you. Oh, are you upstairs? Um... Mechanically, it's pretty good. Although, I will say, uh... Final Fantasy V spoilers for a couple of minutes-ish. Oh. Um... Three, two, one... I really feel like the way that they killed off Gallif was mishandled. Yeah, like, mechanically, it was like, like it, why? It was, that was a really good opportunity to use game mechanics to make you feel sad. Sad, or, you know, make you feel the impact of having lost a character. Like, because you've invested all this time into making Gallif a certain way, right? If they had taken him and just been like, well, he's dead, here's the new character, and she was totally different. Not necessarily worse. Like you wouldn't necessarily have to make her worse. Just just have... give her points in different classes. That... Yeah. So you're like, oh, she's good at things, but not the same things that Galif yeah. that I had trained Galif to be good at. So I gotta either m like mega grind her or just accept what she's good at and work yeah. around that. Galif is gone, and that sucks. Um, that was a really good opportunity for them to do that, and I feel like they kind of missed that opportunity. Because as it was, like, uh, which isn't to say, like, the, which isn't to say that, like, the actual, <laughs> which I am perfectly fine. Steel nerves. <laughs> ah, 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 that was in my eyeball. <laughs> so, which isn't to say that, like, the, the way the story handled Gallif's loss was terrible, um, it's just they could have used the game they could have used the gameplay to give it more impact um so and it was certainly done better than all, everybody from Final Fantasy 4 which was all fakes out all the time random that random thing like that's a nice touch but it doesn't mean anything to me because I don't know who she is. Yes! <laughs> I did it! I parried in a Souls game that wasn't one! <laughs> and you punished his dick. Ow. Wah. Oh, it was good while it mattered. Womp womp. Yes! Da! <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say. That's a picture of Queen Nishandra. Oh. But... The, the final boss is Nishandra. Right. But she's there. Right. That's her picture. So why does she look so fucked up? No, not there. And then you fight her as the final boss. Well, the question is, why when you approach the picture of the benevolent benevolent Queen Nishandra that everyone loves does that happen? <laughs> that is a good question. Because I believe at this point you have heard like basically nothing about Nishandra. Like uh, no one's really mentioned I her didn't really. I didn't even know that her name is Nishandra to be honest. Oh I'm getting usurpered. Here you are. Dick. Hole. Shit. Bag. Cock. Munch. Fucker. I feel like the invaders in this game are... God. Kind of <laughs> lame. Of course, we say that it's kind of lame, but again, remember we're, uh... Remember, we are easy moding. That is true. But did it, like, affect their AI at all? I don't think so. I think you just do so much fucking damage they can't deal with it. It just feels like in literally ever everyone, especially Dark Souls 3, like, you go up to them and you're like, swing, and they're all like, I'm gonna dodge across creation and you'll never catch me. Yeehaw! Because <laughs> no. you, you do do a shitload of damage. Ow. <laughs> yeah. Cobalt Ow. says try reposting faster. Yes! I got a great sword. Nice. 
I don't think it's gonna be better Good. for me in this case than my uh, battle axe. Trusty battle axe. See, like, this is your first encounter with okay. her, right? Now, don't talk to her immediately. Just walk up to her. Just talk. Does she say who you she is? Admirably on your journey, cursed undead. I am Nishandra, oh. Queen Oh, sure enough. Dranlake. Okay, you can skip the rest. I was just curious. So, like, this is your first encounter with her, really, and then she's Does like... You and she's basically telling you what the Emerald Herald's been telling you, so you're like, oh. Okay. So why is she Is she just not there? Huh. Can you jump over there? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. There's a pillar. Can you do the can you do the Zhao thing from uh Dark cloud. <laughs> Do a little dainty hop in your massive turtle armor. I've, I've hit. I don't know why I can't hit her. I've hit her before, but and like she disappears. She's she basically pulls a flowy. Okay. If you do the first fight, knowing, like, not trusting him at all, and he's like, you know what's going on here, and that's basically what she does. Is she's like, she disappears. She's like, he he he. You know what's going on here, don't you? Uh, I can tell you the lore. Well, tell me the lore after I go take off this sweater, which is making me incredibly hot, and go get another soda so that I can cool down, because I'm dying. Hey, Brax. Hey, Braxton. <laughs> this Ninja Turtle didn't want to be a weave anymore. Who does want to be a weave? woke up one morning and said, today I shall No, oh, I should have. Ow. Wait, did he do like zero damage to me? Ah, that did damage. Ah. <laughs> Being greedy. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Stop. Eh. All right. <laughs> now to bully this poor guy. Trade and blows, baby. I just realized I could have been fireballing things here. <clears throat> Two majules. Do 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 Visit me. Oh god damn it. Okay, phew. I'm I'm upgrading the correct things. I need two regular Titan shards. That'll give me nine. That'll give me way more than nine. Right? No, it would give me eight? I yes. Your presents. Thank you. Yay. Ah, the. 
the knockoffs I saw up there. The knockoff knockoffs. up nine points nine points it's the same are the other ones stats the same though Pick up anything from my other weapons. Mm. I should go to. Don't be wrong. Run a wall. No, was that my impression of him, or was that me mocking him as I ran away like an asshole? <laughs> it can be two things. Uh, uh, Doris Ferris. Hmm. Keep it smooth. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? It was, uh, the crows. Uh -huh. How are you not dead? Please die. Get <laughs> <Good. What? laughs> <laughs> Every time, time like he the, does... His arms just kind of go whoa out the <laughs> yeah. side and chuck his stuff. Every time he does that, he just does the only place. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man. I oh, wish time for a lore dump. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you that. <laughs> okay. But I, um... I guess I'll let Cobalt do that. You could probably do it faster. So if you could just, like, uh... If you could just, like, uh, tell me the lore and devalue him. <laughs> Does... I'll tell you the I'll tell you the lore, and then he can also say the lore, and his will probably have stuff that I completely missed because mine's basically going to be the abridged version. <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding this. Go away. Because it's so good, and it feels scary to like just yeah, make like it go this away. great shield I'm looking. I'm like, oh, that's it's nice. so good, but I'm never gonna use it. But it's so good. Because I'm I, so fat already. <laughs> what if I use it? Like, maybe. No. Goodbye. I can finally sell these infantry boots I spent Ray. money on. She was born as a shard of Manus when he was killed, and gains consciousness, and like Manus, desired power above all else. Who the fuck is Manus? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know Manus. He's the... the hands of fate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> um, Manus was the final boss of Dark Souls 1, from the DLC. Oh, okay. So... And he was kind of... And he was kind of retroactively the final boss of Dark Souls 1 as a result. Because, like, he was a big deal. Okay. Lore-wise. I don't think I ever played the Dark Souls 1 DLC. I, I haven't either, because, like, it is part of the remaster. Just sell it all. But I'd all. have to play the remaster. Sell it all, but not those. <laughs> I did legitimately try to play the remaster, and I just couldn't. I just couldn't. He could not. Uh, do you have anything I want to buy? I think I'm wearing one of those, aren't I? No. I'm not? Mm-mm. 
Um, I would like a few more of these, please. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot more than that later, <laughs> but uh, goodbye, my friend. Um, you are a true. Fr I never found that. No, life gem, great. Um, you might be able to just get like. Equipment that reduces that increases poison defense. Uh, she traveled all over Drang Lake and seduced King Vendrick and convinced him to betray the giants by convincing him they were a threat. And he invaded their lands and took some source of power from them. Then he made her his queen. The DLC was included in the original PC release, the Prepare to Die edition. Mm. I don't think I played it there either. Uh, what's my stats? Status set. I can get one level. But because it's a From Software game, the only way to do it meant yeah, being in the exact right place after a very specific event in the game, Six making it hilariously seven. easy to miss. Yeah, that sounds seek right. Lest this Bear seek seek lest. Bear seek seek lest. Yeah, see, now it's giving me voice. Weird. Excuse me. I need more Estus flasks. Hmm. Where can you go get shards? That's a good question. Are you gonna use some stream time today to go get shards? I might have to. Like, I have four. <laughs> uh. You also have like a hundred thousand life gems, though. Yeah, but there, see, the thing is, the higher you get your adaption, the faster you swig that shit back. So, like, you reach a point where you're just like. Bloop! <laughs> mm. But there's a catch to that. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've hit a point now. Or for whatever reason, I'm gonna assume it's a bug. Half the time, I don't actually drink my Estus Flasks. Like, I go super fast. Also, hi, Nerdbird. Oh, yeah. Hi. Howdy. Like, I go super fast. But I don't actually drink it. It doesn't it doesn't use an Estus flask and then I don't drink it. I just don't drink it. I don't know why. But that doesn't seem to happen until I hit a certain speed of consumption. Snort. Now what do those fires mean? Uh, if, the, if all of them light up, uh, he gives you some shit. Yeah, but what are they? They're like, uh, the major bosses you've killed. Hmm. Can't see shit. There we go. I still can't remember where I can't see shit cap come, came from. Is that, is that a channel meme of ours, or did we pull that from something? I mean, I... <sighs> can't see shit, Captain. I can't see shit, Captain. You know, the captain is, like, Greg's pet name for Angus. Mm -hmm. And since I say it in Greg's voice... I think I said, I can't see shit in Greg's voice, and then I was just like... And then I just add captain, because that seems like something Greg would say. Today we analyze channel memes. Is that a... here to see... I can't remember, like... an actual channel meme that's really survived to this day and age. Um, like, every time I bring up channel memes that I remember, it's like, wow, that's an old chestnut. I mean, I'm sure we have a few. How many branches of whatever the fuck do I have? I've got poo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have four. We got Do some any... souls sitting around. Oh, yeah. For a rainy day. Oh, I've got some blind bone dust. I forgot. I need to burn that. Mm. Um. Wait. I'm going to be a real upset. No, I must have gotten that because I got the free pursuer kill. 
Hmm. Uh, I'm only gonna grab a few. Mm -hmm. So let's see. What other stuff could we throw at Cleo? Um. I know she likes. I know she likes RPGs. Fuck the gutter! Not going back there ever. ever I don't. Again. The thing is, though, I don't think she's played many JRPGs, so that mm. could be interesting. You could throw uh, a, one of the secret games at her. Like Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana. Secret of Evermore. Secret of my ass. <laughs> secret of D's nuts. <laughs> Second that sets to three. I actually found Sanken uh, Sanken? I actually found Sanken then sets to three to be kind of difficult to play because the graphics were so nuts. The secret of Ligma. <laughs> like, you know, like because it's a good it's a good general principle to make sure that like uh, characters and interactable elements are easily distinguishable from the environment. With Sagan Densetsu 3, they didn't do that at all. They They're just care. like, make everything look painted as fuck, and it's like really hard to tell what's going on anywhere on screen. I didn't read the last lore chunk in my fancy storytelling voice. Oh, sorry. Um, also, if you want more rest is shards, <laughs> nearly every guy that you unpetrify with a branch leads to a shard. There you go. That was what you meant, right? So, yeah, she basically seduced the king, convinced him to do a whole bunch of shitty stuff because she wanted power. And then the king got wise to her tricks, which is why he sealed him up and w exactly all the fuck she was perpetrating and was like that's why he sealed did all the things he did and uh sealed her away or sealed, sealed himself away to try to keep her from getting power and then along comes you <laughs> wait why did he seal himself away uh cobalt answer that for me <laughs> ow <laughs> uh, my queenie wife wants my power <laughs> I could kill her, or I'll just bury myself and wait it out. <laughs> she wanted more power, though, so she set her sights on the first flame using the Throne of Want. Vendrig found out and set up several safeguards to prevent her from getting it, including sealing himself, the Four Lord Souls, the Giant's Kinship, King's Ring, etc. And she tricks you into doing all that to open it up for her. See, there's like... I don't feel like that's the best storytelling voice, right? Storytelling voices, I feel, should be told by like... old men and grannies who are like the lore keepers, right? Yeah, she doesn't really trick you that much. Like, she shows up at right towards the end of the game already about to do the things that she wants you to do was the Emerald Herald who was like so you like, should go do this thing so like is it is the Emerald Herald in cahoots with Nashandra is Nashandra doing that thing where it's like secretly everything that you do I made you do because that's how omnipotence and free will work at the same time. <laughs> Is that you think you have free will and you do, but you really don't because I control everything. But if you fuck up, that's your fault. But like, like, where does the where does the manipulation happen? What? Phew. <laughs> That ogre's got an ass. He sure do. It's no, uh... It's no, uh... Prison demon, though. It's, it's very rhino-y. Yeah. These, uh, they, these ogres do have kind of a rhino-y <laughs> vibe. Not gonna lie. 
fuck are you doing? Oh, there you are. Like, oosh. It's gonna be another, it's gonna be another 20 or 20 years or so before my storytelling, my storytelling voice becomes proper storytelling goodness. <laughs> Needs a little more of that rasp of age. Or alternately, you can do it right when you wake up. That's a good, that right when you wake up is a good time to record old storytelling man. Do you know why? Because your voice hasn't stretched properly? It hasn't lubricated. Fuck! Uh oh. Forgot you were here. It's a good thing you're a bitch. <laughs> My ass, hey. Bitch. Ah, my stamina's. <laughs> I need those. Ow. My stamina's. Ow. <laughs> it's a good thing I tank. Eh. Okay. He is poison. Woo. Oh, he stopped being poisoned. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Oh, you bitch. Listen to fucking Freddy Krueger over here. What a bitch, you bitch. Eat bitch. Fucking bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, your, your vocal cords basically flap against each other, right? Like, right. that's how they work. They go wop, 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 wop. Um, but in order to do that properly... They have to be lubricated because they're fleshy. Otherwise, they would like stick together. But when you first wake up in the morning, they're not very lubricated. They have been kind of off for a while. So, in the, so uh, while your while your body wakes up and starts generating the like goop that it needs for lubrication, your vocal cords are very dry, and so they kind of stick. So they don't vibrate as quickly, so your voice drops and it gets a little raspy until you get up to speed. So did I miss something? I thought there was an Estus shard somewhere in here. I don't know. God damn it! I know there's some there. I know there's one here, in betwixt the ass land. Wasting time. Lands betwixt these cheeks. <laughs> Lands betwixt these nuts. <laughs> what the hell are these trees? They're, um. Dick trees. Fendrick seals himself in the undead crypt burger. It's hard to Sturberger too, and Morris Spurs best fickly has these ladies who song Sturberger creatures in the dark, like Nashan Sturberger and her forces. <laughs> there we go, we got one, Nashan Sturberger. <laughs> and uh Nerdbird says uh they're trees. Well yes, it's just underground trees. Is it underground? Look okay. up. Do you see the sky? Maybe it's just dark, fucking dark here. Did you ever think about that? It's like when you go into Kale in Elden Ring. And suddenly the sky is just red everywhere all the time like, forever. But you don't see that when you're standing in Limgrave. I like how you revealed your prejudice towards roots. <laughs> you're in a closed room where nobody can see you and so you attack the wall. <laughs> I was just. He'll never know. <laughs> I was just checking for a man. You never know when there's just gonna be a guy just hanging around. Okay, now there's a fun uh, there's a fun Easter egg here if you jump over that if you jump over that ledge. Is the Easter egg my death? Because that <laughs> would be quite funny. <laughs> Did I somehow already get it? I thought it was past the. Petrified ass bag. You, you, give it. Fuck off. <laughs> Wait, do I have anything I could give them? 
Yes. I do. I do. She do. <laughs> uh, how does it go? You, uh, you. Give us. Oh. Me. And I give the I leave them a petrified something. <laughs> I pick it up Ooh. and I'm just like, hey night slab, let's go. Why did you put bacon in your nest? <laughs> I mean myself. Fucking I swear to God. Speaking of soap, we're at a mouthwash. Oh yeah, I forgot. Fuck. What? <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Ow. <laughs> also, I just noticed that a lot of these dudes are wearing the same outfit that you appeared here in. Yeah, they're all just chilling. Ow. <laughs> My elbow! Ah, <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention! <laughs> I got some soda crackers to set it up. <laughs> okay, honey. <laughs> you want some? You want some ginger ale and saltines? No. <laughs> some warm pork. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <sighs> no. <laughs> I won't that <laughs> just that meme is running around and there's a guard following it. <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> there's one guard going, Stop! You violated the law! Stop right there, criddle scum! And another another guard going just going, halt, 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 halt. <laughs> Cause if a meme's going to be chased around by a meme. If a meme's gonna be chased around, it should be my other memes. Indeed. Sup, nerd. Wait, who's this? <laughs> Where did this guy come from? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> well, I couldn't parry him, but he died by poison. Ooh, petrified something. Huh. <laughs> dialogue missing, dialogue missing. Oof. Elder Scrolls 6, I'm really on the fence about. I'm not... I don't know whether or not to be you, you. hopeful us, for it or not. Yes, you! Give us a key! Yeah. You, you. Oh, another Titanite nice slab. Yeah. Also, uh... I would like to say I finally learned some of these crows' names. I don't remember those two assholes. <laughs> But, uh, Pickle P is the crow in Dark Souls 3. Okay. And, uh, it's Snuggly um, in Dark Souls 1. Those guys are called, like, Cheech and Chong or those, whatever. <laughs> those guys are, uh, Pickle Q and Pickle R. <laughs> they, they certainly aren't pump or rum um, Well, that was a waste of fucking time. Yeah, like... We know that Elder Scrolls 6 could have a lot of potential. But we also know that Bethesda seems to be struggling with fresh ideas. But also, do I really want fresh ideas from an Elder Scrolls game? Like, kind of what I want from Elder Scrolls 6 is just Elder Scrolls 5 with better look with better graphics and more stability more and more stability and like a new area like I don't really I'm not really hoping for like fresh gameplay ideas like I thought that was fine a big shake up to the like a big shake up to the paradigm or anything yeah this isn't like going from oblivion to skyrim well it's not even like going from cuz like a lot of people there were a lot of people who were kind of upset with Starfield that it uh, that it really didn't feel like they did a whole lot of new shit with Starfield 
And it's like, to th that I can kind of see because Starfield is, you know, it's a completely different genre, but like with Elder Scrolls 6, like, like I said, it could just be Elder Scrolls 5 with improved graphics and new story and areas. And I'd be okay with that. So, I would honestly rather they spend time is that taking the existing stuff that they know how to do. I did get a shard. Maybe you got it for, as a drop from an enemy or something? Anyway. I, I didn't see it in my inventory. You know, I would rather they take time, use their time to polish the visuals so that they look really good, polish the gameplay so that it plays really good, and polish the stories and environment so that they're really good and it's not super buggy, you know, oh. mm -hmm. and then, you know, and not worry about spending a ton of time making all this new shit. Um, I would be... Hey, Chonk. Why are we why are we shirtless? So I can run a little faster. Oh. <laughs> no, stop. You're gonna murder someone you love. <laughs> Travel to here. Yeah, like just So honestly, Guess my wasn't running that much faster. But it, so it's like my concern would be that that you know Bethesda would hear like, oh, people want like new shit, and they'll spend a whole lot of time making new shit that isn't necessarily good shit. Good shit. But at the same time, they also won awards for most innovative gameplay for Starfield, and it was like, ah, was this deserved? <laughs> a bit. <laughs> no, I mean the award. Oh. For Starfield. It was like. Oh, what the, the fuck? What? The water's all gone. Oh. Isn't there water here? Uh. No. It's in the next area. Ow. <laughs> nice repost. He reposted him with poison. <laughs> I know. And I just stood there and. Like, oh, he's sublime bone dust. Nice. I just stared at him as he lay there dying, like, oh, I'm like, perish. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't have to do shit. <laughs> Man, I've been actually parrying things today. Yeah. Getting the. It makes me wonder why I can't fucking do it in Elden Ring. It's probably just different timing. I got a mod for Elden Ring that made it so that you could parry things with, like, correct block timing. Except the window is so- they made the window so fucking tight that I might as well just parry it normally. Because most of the time I just go, and block, ow, and block, ow. <laughs> um, you could try using the- Hey, oh, Braxton! Good. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the Prime Gaming sub. Appreciate it. You know what? Have you tried that that song that plays? Is mm -hmm. kind of is a bit of a uh, channel deep lore. That is because it's like yeah water. Because it's like we never hear the other half either. Yeah. Because that was a song we did for I can't remember if it was a bit or if it was like an actual ad no it was for the it was for the toe jam and earl one of the toe jam and earls where we were talking about um how we'd hit a an insignificant milestone of subscribers like i meant i said something like oh yeah we have like 30 subscribers and like since we had recorded that video we've gotten a bunch more so I was I did that was when it was did that like and then it flipped to the party animation. Right. So it's like that's from a video that pretty much no one who watches our channel knows. <laughs> it's like ten years old, man. Oh hello, sir. And again, we never hear the other half of it. Especially the part where we're fat. We're gonna make 
mad monkeys. We're gonna blow it on snacks and drinks. Very fast. Ow! <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you got night goodies! Cool, I don't want them. Where are the day goodies? Oh, there's the, f there's the shard. Yay. Alright, that should be enough for now. Do, 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 Especially do, since I found... Do, 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 do. Sus. Yeah. What the fuck? Do, 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 How much damage do you think I would take if I left from this banister? Uh... Oh, plenty? <laughs> plenty. It'll be faster, though. Faster to bone. bone myself. Wee. <laughs> Snore. Welcome to uh, excitement souls. <laughs> Did you go to the right place? Why well, I, I boned. Oh. So I just went back to the last bonfire I spawned at. That's what happens to me whenever <laughs> I bone. <Wee. laughs> I'm like, ah, that was really good. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to Wahoo Soul! <laughs> to see light, however. Please. More Estus, please. No. Left. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have any others hiding in my inventory. That is much sublime bone dust. She just her skirt just catches on fire. She's what? Like, what? 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 <laughs> we just watched you just <laughs> souls. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Guess I'm not leveling up anymore. <laughs> Some force has strengthened the Estus flask. That's an interesting way to put that. The force of D's nuts. Right. <laughs> welcome, welcome to D's tape. <laughs> nuts tape. Tape nuts. Uh, controller nuts. It's like truck nuts, except they go on your controller. Ah, <laughs> this is terrible. It's like I'm lifting weights while I game, and it's terrible, and I hate it. Why did I do this? Well, let's go here and get this out of the, get this part out of the way. Look, I'm just gonna say it. I don't think I think that we should have freedom of speech and that you know they should be legal and shit. But uh, I think truck nuts are horrible and they should be made to go away. Like we we, we not made illegal, but you know we should like s shame people with truck nuts. Oh, gully. Saw a PvP video where somebody invaded someone at the Dragonary at their first time there while they were standing next to the Herald, and it turned out the host also was wearing the ring that causes you to emit AoE damage after taking so many hits, so they just threw ranged stuff at them until the Herald died. Oh no. Stop it! I don't even want to fight you. You have high poise for some reason. It might be his great shield. Interesting. Ow, ow, ow. Why aren't you getting poisoned? Here. Perhaps he is immune to poison. Walk through this, I dare you. <laughs> yeah. Nerd. Ow. Walk through this, I dare ya. You don't have that much poise. Ow. When you're in the fire, ow. <laughs> Fuck you. Yay, you got him. Dickhead, why did he appear? Why do... Dicks suddenly Shades. appear <laughs> every time. I drink beer. <laughs> That's not good. You're hanging out with the wrong friends if dicks appear every time you drink. <laughs> or the right ones. Okay, that's it. Where the fuck is this I'm up, platform? Up there further. Past worms. Ah. 
I like the first part of that fight though, when we were doing battle, and there was just poison, just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and somehow neither of us were getting hit. No, no, Cobalt, bad. Drinking plus dicks is bad. No, the poison. Go away. I'm gonna need you dead, sir. That's the wrong button. I want to do this. Eh. See, when when there's when you drink, every dick seems like a good idea. Wait, have you not fought the rotten yet? No, I fought him. Oh, then why are we here? I'm getting. I'm going ahead and getting the stuff I need to get into the sunken. Oh, DLC. okay. Is that it? Eh. Oh, that's locked. Where's the actual cave with the giants, though? You have to drop more. I can't tell if I'm going the right way. Is there a dude down there? Yes. I think that's the right way. We. Why did you roll? Because you press roll. And then I have to go down here. <laughs> Just spook. Now I just gotta gun it. Do da 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 do do do. Everything's wrong. Wrong. Incorrect. Why aren't you going into the thing? Uh. <laughs> Just open this. <laughs> hey, Ring of Giants. Uh. <laughs> and uh, I think that set of petrified something. Pew. Would you get somewhere where I can shoot you in the dick? Oh dear. Oh wait, you know what? What? Is that, there we go. Does that work better? I think so. Yeah. yeah. I want more cookies. Uh, I still got two here. I can have one. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, well, I'm dead. Nice whiff. Which watch I do? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the StarCraft AI is great. I love where I love the the ones where it just um. Like, ah! it just doesn't work for a solid six minutes. Like, it just doesn't do anything. And then you're like... And then all of a sudden it's like, now send everything! <laughs> awesome sauce. Wait, that's the cave opening. Eh. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna say I think that item probably isn't worth it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> How do I fit? <laughs> the lorp. Physics are only a suggestion sometimes. Alright, got the key. Act or act ow. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, god damn it. Ow. Maybe watch out for that poison you're taking. It's fine. Ow. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is as it should be. Uh, I think when I, I, I saw a StarCraft Every trick. Every time I'm like, I'm being invaded. <laughs> I saw a StarCraft trick you can do where you like... Stick a if you're playing Zerg, where you can stick a line of dudes 
um, if the game does not like diagonal, like the AI does not like diagonals, so you can stick, like if there's a bridge, you know, going along a diagonal, you can stick like a line of dudes there, and I forget exactly how you do it, but basically the enemy can't path to or around these dudes. They won't attack them. They won't. They'll just sit there confused. <laughs> now, which of these ladders did I need? You need the big long, the longest one. I think, yeah. Wee! Yeah, this seems this seems like something you can't do with this ladder. Yeah, you. Okay. What I am looking forward to about Elder Scrolls 6 is finally having an Elder Scrolls game where the third person mode doesn't suck ass. I don't think any of these were mimics. It'd be kind of a dick move. And yeah, fucking FromSoft never. FromSoft is not in any way known for their dick moves. I trust them completely. I'm not even gonna check these next two chests to make sure they're not mimics. I don't know how Come on, Sponge. <laughs> like, it doesn't even jump me, just. Sl it's just slower. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. No, it's like, not even struggling, just. <laughs> I give up. Okay. Well, that wasn't what I thought it was. What'd you think it was? A uh, place to go. I got the thing I needed to go to the place. So are you go. going to Sunken City first, or are you going to go beat the game first? I'm going to go as far... I'm going to go do the same thing that you did. In Bloodborne, there's a metal hat that clinks against every ladder rung when you slide down it. Oh, I yeah. I have seen that. Tong, 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 tong. Which is hilarious. I wonder if that was intentional or just a side effect of wonky collision. Like they made this fantastic collision code that's like, oh yeah, now your body parts will also tink against things. And then they give you a massive metal hat and they're just like, oh, well this is just delightful. We're not changing this. Tink, 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 tink. Ah, uh, drink, 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 drink. Up, up, there it is. Down, 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 there it drink. is. Drink. Now, do you pronounce it Drang Lake or Drang Lake? I pronounce it... <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's the it's the same question as do you pronounce do you pronounce the director's name Angly or Angly? I'll just take all this and go home. Fuck being the king. I'm just gonna be dank and rich. See, you want to pronounce it Angly, not Angly. Because you wouldn't like him when he's angry. Mmm. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. See. These distinctions are important, people. Nerdbird says Drang Lake. Uh, Cobalt says Drang Lake. Drain the lake. <laughs> what is that from? Fuck if I know. You have all these references in your head that I don't understand. Like, I don't... I, well, that's the thing. I don't even know if that's a reference or not. Like, it's just... It's ringing a bell. Ow. Dick. <laughs> I pronounce it Fruit Loop. Now, okay. Wait. What if I... <laughs> Yeet! Fuck. Fuck. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Why did I shoot it that way? Knock it off. <laughs> Alright. Come hither, friend. Are you coming to kill me or what? My back is Get turned. over here. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. What? 
<laughs> Dubious grandma. Shit ass dead dude. Dost thou of hell fuck castle high in the mountains? <laughs> it was once the domain of King Big Sad Guy who did the flame thing. <laughs> Legend tells of the castle steward, the great and terrible horse dog. But who is it to say if it still roams the halls? <laughs> For 60 full fucking seconds. Oh, how silly of me, but of course, a new arrival in Drank Rank Frick would not know such tales. Why such as thee wouldst be better suited to sharpen the blades of the dreaded wrath of why they put another fucking swamp level marsh armor type of dude. <laughs> that is, if thou canst lift that longst five minutes of unskippable laughter. <laughs> Alright. Warmps. <laughs> Come, Cell Sword. I require your big shield body to absorb all the blows. <laughs> I require your meat. But your arm the armor you're wearing looks pretty fucking kick-ass. Yes, but you wear the Havel set and have two Havel great shields. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, he's wearing the Havel armor. Oh. I don't think he's got the Havel helmet. Where but do you where do you get to the Havel? It's I think it's a bit of a a bit of a Trek. Might be in the Dragonary. He just went right for him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Kinda saw that one coming. You just get horse kicked to face. Ah! Don't back that ass! Ah! <laughs> hi -ya! Yeah. Again, uh, I would just. <laughs> I would just once again. Louis, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Stop! Uh, I would just once again like to uh, commend uh, the FromSoft games for not. Having angry skeletons, which have which are so common, I was just I I actually didn't know that there is a uh, that there was a uh, Tomb Raider four, uh, but there was, and there's a scene in it early on when you find a skeleton uh, holding a backpack, right, that you pick up for. Lore reasons. Did that um, do literally nothing to him? Sure did, but. Oh, thanks, Lewitt! <laughs> what the hell's going on? They're all just like. <laughs> eating shit and leaving. <laughs> Is it because you're up there and it just broke them? I guess so. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's a scene, and bear in mind, this is a Tomb Raider game, right? So you come into this area, you find a skeleton holding a backpack, and the skeleton has angry eyes. It doesn't get up, it doesn't come after you, there's no undead in the Tomb Raider game, it's just a random ass angry skeleton, and I don't know why they did that. Fun fact, if you use the invader soapstone in this level while someone is doing the looking glass night, the boss can summon you to be his mirror squire. And then you can be the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what invasion is. Now it is you who can be the asshole. That I don't know, Power Stone. I'm not sure I would rec I'm not sure I would recognize a smiling skull in any thing in Ocarina of Time because the textures all look like they were made in MS Paint. The textures look this big. The textures all have that classic N64 painted using mine own ass <laughs> effect. Well, okay, so to be fair, have we ever played Ocarina of Time on this channel without some kind of high resolution texture pack? Mm. Maybe 
way early on, but once we only really started playing it regularly when like randomizers and shit started being a thing. And then like the first thing I did was, oh, high resolution texture pack, yes please. The best looking games on the N64 were ones where the textures were only there to convey a vague idea and more of a color. Like in Super Mario 64, where Mario didn't really have textures. He was just colored polygons with a face like, texture. One of the better games was Perfect Dark, but that's because uh, a lot of the game was not focused on, like, human faces and shit, and... It had access to the it had access to the expansion pack, so it had more like VRAM to work with, so it could have more like high quality textures going on. But that was pretty late in the N64's life cycle. I like that the shield actually goes onto the back of the armor. <laughs> yeah. Instead of just like it doesn't clip into you. But it's also like, man, how do I reach my hand that far back and attach that? You've got Captain America magnetic arms. Clink. <laughs> yeah, so best looking games on the N64 were all cartoony. Ocarina of Time is okay for the most part because it's much more anime looking. Yeah, it's somewhere but in the middle, get, I think. But you get a lot of places where, like, they're trying to get, like, the glorious detail of the forest and it just looks like you're surrounded by blobs of green and brown poo. Yeah. Uh. The 3DS remaster holds up a lot better, I think. It looks it looks pretty good in my opinion, for you know for what it is. Um, okay. Oh, you, okay. You'd been in here. I was like, why are there just like dead ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> why are there dead ladies? Why aren't there dead ladies? <laughs> why aren't there always dead ladies? <laughs> Put me on a list. <laughs> How useful can that list really be when you have to imagine that pretty much everyone in America is on that yeah, list for at real. this point? Like, like, listen, you are you are on a list, and what that means is they're just watching you. So just, just be yourself <laughs> and dare them to keep watching. Emily from Corpse Ride, am I a joke to you? No, but you're surprisingly appealing. In his, like, really weird way. <laughs> uh, I prefer What's-Her-Face from Nightmare Before Christmas. She's also excellent. Although she... Like, I never could tell if she was supposed to be a zombie or... She's a doll. Yeah, like, a, is she a doll or a zombie Sally. or kind of a... Yeah, Sally. Or kind of a bit of both, maybe? Are there any, uh, are there any animated Sallies who are bad? Where it's like... Sally, uh, Sally from Peanuts has been on the Pepe Le Pew side when it comes to Linus. She's, That's true. Most people don't mind because she's like six mm. and he's like seven or eight. Hey, look, a mimic. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Oh, oh, don't you exorcist at me. Whoa, they can do that? Apparently. Ow! You have been... You have been... Get admitted. off of me! Eh. Sport. <laughs> like, I knew it was about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> like, I opened the chest and I was like, Oh, wait. Random wooden chest in a castle filled with nothing but iron chests. Also, it didn't pass the sniff test. I wasn't actually... That's the other thing, is I realized I wasn't actually paying attention during the <laughs> sniff test, so, like, the moment I opened it, I was like, this is a mimic. Yup, I see a teeth. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Uh, uh, uh. 
What? How do I get to the upstairs where the boss battle is? The boss battle isn't in the upstairs. It's in the downstairs. Oh, right. You can't even get to that part until yeah. you've defeated the... Until you've gone to the deep. How do I get there? <laughs> you did the right thing. You gotta do the... You do the loop. Okay. So I'm doing the loop. Right. You go down. You go down, down, down. Down, down, down. Mike. To the very nipple of the world. <laughs> Well, you guys get to do your little skits all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now I try to do a skit and everyone jumps on me. Oh, it's been a while since I've done a... It's been a while since I've done a... Uh, <sighs> drawing some arts and watching some MST3Ks. Right. <laughs> Back I go. <laughs> Wait, what are you... I just realized I'm about to fight the mirror knight. Um, uh, what's my... Okay, I can get a level. Go to my jewel. The, uh, South Park bit of that is one of the greatest moments in all of South Park history. <laughs> Especially when it's followed up with <laughs> yeah, the like, song cuts instantly and just <laughs> uh, What should I get? Maybe I should start thinking about upgrading my damage. Also, it introduced the uh, it also it, it also introduced the uh, lines uh, bass to mouth and ass to trout. <laughs> Yeah, having a level here, they did that in Dark Souls 3, too. Yeah. And kind of with Elden Ring, like, you still had to go to a point of grace to well, do it. Well, that's how it was in Dark Souls 1, which yeah. you had to go to a bonfire. So you couldn't just level up wherever you wanted. <sighs> Drang Lake. Sally White mean. That just sounds like somewhat like an accountant <laughs> at a firm. Hello, my name is Sally White, man. I'll do your taxes for dicks. <laughs> your dick taxes? <laughs> I'll do your dick taxes. Because No, no, it's a different accent now. Come on, damn, my name's Sally Whitefield. I will do your taxes for dicks. I'll do your dick taxes. Half off. Not your dick, your taxes. Maybe a dick. Depends on what you're into, mate. No, that's half in. Mmm. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> half in, half off. Friday nights only. Here an item. Easy peasy. Just come at me, bro. Ow, 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 ow. Come at me, bro! Boof, boof, boof! <laughs> I, uh, approach battles like Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh dear, you're wearing big, heavy metal armor. Oh my god! <laughs> Did a fucking Mortal Kombat roundhouse kick to my face. And I was just like... <laughs> um... Yeah, what is my lightning resistance right now? Um, lightning. 60. Oof. Do I have any... Of course, he doesn't really lightning all that often. I do have a burr. You don't vote for kings? I think I'll try some aromatic ooze in this fight. Okay. Since, gonna go for some magic. Since lightning don't hurt him. Well, bear in mind, you won't get a particularly good bonus to that. Well, I mean, a bonus is a bonus, and I don't think uh, unliving armor is going to be affected much by poison. 
How do you know it's on living armor? How do you know there isn't a dude in it? I just know these things. <laughs> and we'll just throw that on there, and then we'll get into the fight! Let's go! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Great success. Oh, you stupid mirror. What the fuck? Quick, new strategy. Get out of there and switch your weapons to your, switch your weapon to your left hand. So when you're swinging, you're swinging from the other direction. Going splat a lot in this uh in this round. Okay. So currently Panda has Oh here we go. All four of the bosses, all four of the boss Lord boss bosses beaten. Um now. Does not have the ring of ringness yet. Yay! Woo! So he, do he doesn't have the ring of ah, the textures. <laughs> he doesn't have the ring of ringness yet. Still has to go through the undead crypt. Is it really a crypt if it's full of the undead? I mean, it's some form of dead. It's like that, that raises one of those questions like, um, uh, uh, you know, somebody, somebody says to me like, I'll give you a hundred dollars if you can define furniture, right? And it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be kind of a, it's supposed to be kind of like a trick question, right? Because if you look at like the Oxford definition of furniture, it's like, it's something that you can move, that you, that, uh, you decorate in your house, so, so on and so forth. But if you follow that definition of furniture, a ceiling fan is furniture. And most people wouldn't think of that as furniture, you know? Um, so it's like, it's supposed to be this big twi trick question. Twit question. Twit question. It's supposed to be a big uh. trick question. And, uh, my response is, furniture is something you can buy at a furniture store. Because, <laughs> I mean, right? If right. you go, if I go to a clothing store, I'm going to go in, I'm going to buy clothing. That's what they sell at clothing stores. So if I go into a furniture store, I buy something, I come out, I, what I got is furniture. That does raise some interesting implications, though, because, you know... A lot of stores have, like, the candy at the register, so I guess that means Reese's peanut butter cups are now closed, by definition. Yep, there you go. Ooh, screech. Hinga dinga dergen. <laughs> it also does mean that you can apply it, you can apply, uh, you can apply a, a definition to any object by selling that object and and at, at a given store like you know are nuts candy well they are if you buy if you can buy them at a candy store especially if they're candy nuts yeah. it just means that things can be more than one thing all definitions are based on where are based on capitalism <laughs> wherever you can buy them that's what they are I want my decks a bit too so I can get more spear damage. Even though I don't really use the spear for damage, but, you know, a little extra on off the top. You know, it's just like, you know, well, they wouldn't sell, like, they wouldn't call it a furniture store if they weren't selling furniture. So, 
clearly it must be furniture if you go to a rug store and you go in they're they're gonna be selling rugs so if you see a chair in there it's a rug now sorry we don't make the rules <laughs> Furniture definition says large movable equipment to make a place more livable, but you can't really move stuff like a ceiling fan around once it's installed. Uh, I argue you can't easily move a ceiling fan once it's installed, but you also can't easily move a bed around once it's installed. Like, there's a lot of stuff that qualifies as furniture that you can't easily move around. Like, kitchen counters, for example. Once you've put in kitchen counters, they're really hard to move, but they're still furniture. You know, you can buy kitchen counters at a furniture store. So, can you buy it at a furniture store? Is it at Ikea? <laughs> God. Be poisoned and die. Hmm, <laughs> hardware. Yep, exactly. You... You define everything in your house the way you want to define it. Exactly. Who am I to say that what you aren't eating right now is someone's brain? Well, <laughs> I, I think there are at least a couple of people who get to be like, or it's like, who am I to say why I am Noah Webster? <laughs> I think he gets to say. Fuck him. That's his whole deal is saying what things are. <laughs> the apartment. Of saying what things are. It's like, well, what qualifies Noah Webster to say what things are? I don't know. Have you written a dictionary? Maybe I will. <laughs> well, then when you do, you get to say what things are. Definition one. Asshole. Miriam Webster. <laughs> wow. Definition two. Butt face. All his friends and family. <laughs> Definition three. Cut. <laughs> Uh, the word he was about to say was commentary. <laughs> was cum. <laughs> I'll just, uh, pew. Can we start, can we start a porn review channel and call it commentary? <laughs> Controller tape commentary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> can I explode you if you're underwater? Hey, I can. God, your fuck your sliver of health. Oh, I got a mace. Eats candy. A guy at the IRS gave me mm, taxes. The, that was probably paid for. The IRS taxes. aren't selling taxes. If any, they're they're doing taxes. They're, yeah, exactly. You don't do furniture. Well, I guess it depends I mean, on the furniture. Yeah, if you got yourself a... I what? don't know, fuckable couch? <laughs> like one of those horse things? <laughs> oh, I am hearing curse pots. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Sneaky. I don't think she gives you anything useful. I think she just tells you about the singing. There. Hmm. This is my home now. Clear out! We knew you, Hannah. We are not. We are. Nah. We will sing. We know. And what? Do you see? But what? We know. For we. What is a king? <laughs> Also, I like her passive-aggressive bitchiness, like, we knew you were coming, and stop singing. You know, the singing that's keeping these creatures from murdering you to death. Because fuck you! <laughs> you know, speaking of crossbows... Our father has a crossbow. And I don't know why. He's not a hunter. He's never going to hunt. He's never expressed any interest in hunting. He never bothered to get any of the equipment you might need.
for doing crossbow things, so we just have this crossbow upstairs taking up room for no reason. What is a king? No, seriously, tell me. I'm sick of not knowing shit. <laughs> well, it depends. What a king is depends on where you can buy a king. <laughs> Ow. Let's me block a goddamn attack. Uh, the first thing, the first place I can think of that you can buy a king is in a game store. If you buy a chess set, that's a king. Uh, therefore, king the kings are game pieces. I just saw some weird goopy shit fall down from the ceiling. Interesting. Oh no. Get skewered. Yep. You didn't skewer him, like, your entire trident went through him. <laughs> He's got a big hole now. <laughs> yeah, that's not like three holes, that's like... A, just that's a like, horizontal... Yeah, like, you know the, you know the holes on the side of like a... Note, p notebook paper when you like go to strip it out and it doesn't follow the oh. perforation you just tear oh. it off that's some bad stuff happening that's some bad juju do you see what I'm seeing what textures <laughs> it's a little it's a little wonky oh. shit you can just walk past they don't care if you don't I don't know what's in there, but... Uh, stop slurping at me. No slurping! Alright, now we're in the land of infinite assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it an infinite number of assholes, or are the assholes infinite in... Some capacity. some capacity or dimension. <laughs> <laughs> the asshole dimension. The infinite asshole dimension. A dimension of pure asshole. <laughs> Sigh. Can't use the arc strats. <sighs> Ooh, that was a good back crack right there. Lock on to the bitch. Now, beware. These dudes' magic is, is like going right through your armor. Hacks! <laughs> or just that's how magic works. No, hacks. Lock on to a goddamn whore! <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's right there. Lock. I <laughs> wonder why it's. I wonder why you don't lock onto them until you're like right on top of them. Is this area considered dark? That's stupid. <laughs> Come here. No. <sighs> Give me a weapon that actually. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> no, he, he didn't get hit by the second one. Ow. Or that one. Ow. Okay, that one he did. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That was comedic gold. <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Dodges. Splunk. Dodge. Splunk. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's some tiny tune shit. <laughs> You'll never get me here. <laughs> or here. <laughs> Plucky dodging around. Getting <laughs> <laughs> like, you can even see, like, the look and the, like, crooked ass teeth. Like, he's doing a boxing match or something. He's like, ha ha. Pfft. I'm over here! Like Buster's his corner man. He's <laughs> like, to the left! No, the other left! No, right! <laughs> I've got him on the ropes! <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking of... That, that might have been how the, uh... Particle Man music video they did when <laughs> I can hit her clearly the problem here is that you're just bad at uh, like depth perception 
I still want to get like Vorpex and play these games because people are always like, oh, it's done. It's just a big like screen, like 3D screen. I'm like, that's all I want. I don't need to play this game in first person. I just want to see it in 3D. I love to play this game first person with a like, gun. <laughs> like, uh, my first experience with Minecraft 3D was just straight up stereoscopic gra glasses looking at a screen. It wasn't, <coughs> it wasn't amazing because stereoscopic glasses don't work really well for me. Ooh, twinkling. But it was there, like I could see the dimensions and it was cool. It was like, oh cool, I can like see like distance and dimensions and stuff. That's awesome. I remember showing it to Nate and he was like, this is sick. I want all games to be like this. It's like, that's all I want. Oh, I'm a fire seed. Like, I want to be sitting in a virtual room, looking at a virtual screen, but it has depth. Don't you bleed me, young man? <laughs> man? Young question mark, man question mark? <laughs> All, all definitions here are optional. <laughs> because you buy them at the optional store. Mmm. Ow. Ow. Oof. <laughs> did she, uh, did she say abadabado? Yabba dabba do. Like, <laughs> if you'd stop trying to kill me, I wouldn't have to murder you. Do you think if you got an axe buried in your chest that you would gasp? I mean, yeah, <laughs> probably. <gasps> but, like, not like that, like, pretty voice gasp that they're doing. It'd, it'd be more along the lines of. <gasps> Because, you know, my lungs have just collapsed. <laughs> I hear splorching. Hello? Who splorches? Are they splorching in here? Is this room full of splorchers? Splorch? No splorchers in here. I hear no splorch. I can light a torch. Hmm. Hey, look, a summon, a summon sign? Neat. Item. And I feel like... Oh, no. There's floor here. Smooth and silky. I hear that. Are you not gonna summon? I don't even wanna clear the way, cause. <laughs> do, 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 do. He's just living his best life. <laughs> hey! My best life! <laughs> <laughs> you ruined my best lie! <laughs> Get fucked. Poor bastard. What's so funny over there? <laughs> Someone is having a great time drowning. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna drown, you might as well have fun. <laughs> 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 All of my death sounds end in just the Taz. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Always all the time with you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pling. And then pew. <laughs> Eat shit. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think that's the sound I would make if I got shot in the face, either. I agree. Alright, well... Oh my god, there's so many people. <laughs> who are just... It's a party! What if I were to just... Eh. <laughs> it won't let me lock on, because this game is... What? Why don't you just aim? I'm trying. Shit. 
<laughs> oh, that's not a shield. <laughs> oh, that's a dick squat. Ow, 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 ow. Attack. Yay. <laughs> she doesn't look like she's gonna bother you. Are you just a Healy? Yes, yeah, she doesn't have a stick. Okay. The one in the back has a stick. Yeah, but she's too far away. She's not gonna bother. Yeah, for, I don't. I don't understand. Oh, these there's people. a guy just hanging out over there. Yeah, just chilling out. Doesn't pair of legs sticking out of the ground, out of the water over there. Turn around. <laughs> right there. Hooray <laughs> 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 for physics. Where the? F how do? What the? Step up a goddamn ledge! Blub blub blub. <laughs> I can't. My legs are so heavy. All right, now where's the door? It's right there, right in front of you. Lone Schmitt. Lone Hunter Schmidt. Uh, he's not bald, right? Okay. <laughs> Why? His summon looked like he had fucking fallout radiation hair. Oh. It was not rendering correctly. Schmidt has died. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a poorly buried person from that one weird <laughs> owl skit. Whatever, I shall move on without you. Oh, now this is a place where things could explode. I got fireballs for days, bitches. Yay. Why did that one get, like, critical damage? I don't know. Are there criticals in this game? going. We have to make our own fun when we're playing Dark Souls. <laughs> Who is... You dumb bejewing bitch. Bejew the guy who's shooting you in the face! Uh, apparently the only downside to these mushrooms mushrooms is that they don't have a nearby daddy that can break your nose Which is true. I do miss mushroom daddy. I always thought it was mushroom mom I suppose that could be true mom shroom. There's no reason to assume that it's the daddy Oh both want a party. Nope, neither of them want a party. What? You ass wagons. They're you're not they're just gonna keep walking back with shield. Would, stop guarding the lady. Let's me shoot the lady. Hmm. Oh, she got herself done healed. I will keep shooting. God damn it. 
<laughs> that is the uh, that is a an edge. Ready, axe. Couldn't out heal that, could ya? Says you, I'm healed in heaven. Hi, this is God. Uh, there will be no heals today. We're out of heals. Ah! <laughs> no! Adela, bye! Cool! Oh, hey, just in time for uh, this schmuck. Also, did you miss the... Did you miss the summon earlier, or did you n choose not to take it? Everyone lay off for one second, goddamn. No, never. Only pain. You ass wagon, ow. Oof. Where is that summon? Behind you. Oh, there it is. Woo! Ow, my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> my shoes. Aha, police of the brave. Those, Fuck you and your hacks. His homing weapons are pretty heavy. <laughs> Yay! Bullied. Charge! Peculiar Kindler. Hmm. My Kindler is pretty peculiar too. I thought Kindlers were illegal in the United States. <laughs> Kindler, ah! <laughs> he tried to push you off. Alicia? Okay. Alright, run. If you don't get moving, she's gonna like go after all those dudes. Hey, thingy. Hey. Charge. You're dead. I don't understand what the point of doing that is. I have freed her from her torment. Or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure? Because that's the kind of thing that, like, half the time does, means bad. Alright. Pew! Alright. Time for the Demon of Song. Gene Simmons. Greatest damage. No. That seems to do more. Ow, God. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, sitting his ass on Felicia back there. Oh, he's got the backward hops. I mean. If he's got the forward hops, he's probably got the backward hops. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, she's fine. Hey. Ow. Can I poison you? I... I feel... Oh, yep. Oh! Look at that. This will be a uh, battle of poison and arrows. Well, Felicia eats shit. Oh, I wow. Probably... She's getting wrecked. Probably should. Oof. I should 
be able to... Felicia! Get away from the ass! You can't hurt the ass! God. Could you make him turn towards me or some shit? No. You're gonna make me have to do this by myself. I feel like I should be able to get my spear in there, you know? You poisoned yet? Uh, looks like it. Yeah. Hmm. Yes, thank you for making him face away from the wall. Wompity, wompity. So, uh, what are we gonna do after this race, seeing as we're coming up on Eat the shit. end of it? Um, get wasted. Sounds good. Controller tape wasted stream. We'll do a mixology stream. <laughs> Can teach people how to make that root beer float cocktail. Which, I think the only reason why that doesn't rank higher than a white Russian for me is that it's hard to do. Right. White Russian, like... The ingredients, you typically have the ingredients readily on hand, it's not expensive. Ah. Whereas, like, that, the root beer float one, I think, is a lot tastier. Kitchlonk. Let me in. Have I made a have I made a sidecar with the Quantro? With the Quantro yet? Nope. I should try that. Down, down into the depths. Doo -doo -doo. Your dude doesn't seem to be smiling right now. He seems mildly perturbed. I don't like crypts. But again, is it really a crypt if there's nothing dead in it? If it's all undead, is it an uncrypt? It's an undead crypt. It's uncrypted. Why always must you explode my face, Aldia? Why do you keep getting bigger? <laughs> Young Hollow, you are... Oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> I seem to have blown you up. I'm very sorry. Are you... Oh, no, you're dead. Well, back into Harpo's chest. <laughs> Can I get my bonfire now, you insufferable dick? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, Junk Hollow. I'm the dead evil head fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose I got any stuff I can use to improve. <gasps> Uh, no. What are you looking for, though? I need the chunks now. Well, you can go see if what's her name has chunks. Huh. Never had my time. Did you? Did for you, sound like. You've been long. Well. Hmm. She's got poison and bleed stones now. Mm. Maybe I should switch my pole to bleed. But I feel like I'm at the point in the game where like. Practically every boss is going to immune, be immune to bleed. Whereas I might have more options, as we saw with know. poison. Poison seems the the channeler staff seems to be very useful at no, inflicting sure. poison. Yeah, I'm not sure like, it would be as in, as useful for bleed. Your axe might do bleed good though. Did I happen to get a? Yes, I did. Go get better pyromancy. 
Also, go kill that forlorn bastard up there. I'm you know, always here. Let him sit there and suffer in his self. -ness. Doesn't someone just straight up sell pyromancy? Now uh, she's se pyromancy seeds. She does. Well, you could just buy a bunch of them from her. Yeah, but Bearer. my pyromancy's already like what? My flame's already like plus eight, and like or something. Oh. Are you gonna use any of your stored souls? Effigies. Make make strong pigs. No. Strong pig. No. No. Let strong them wallow pig. in their weakness. No. Strong pig. You make your own pig strong. I no. don't care. Make pig strong. <laughs> well, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna do it, why should I? Because you are it's funny. Since <laughs> <laughs> when? Uh, fucking. Well, um. I could uh, really use a moment to use the uh, toy to piss like so, a fire horse. Yes. So if we could take a quick break, since we're here in Medjool. Too late. I'm already in the crypt. <laughs> no. Damn you. All right. Excuse me. Don't go anywhere, my peeps. We will be back here shortly. We're back. My camera's fucked up. What happened? You blew it up. I must have busted it with my AS. There we go. I found my big vape. Not that it's particularly... The coil in it is, like, already going. I think we might have got a bum batch of coils. Or this juice destroys coils, that's also an possibility. There are some juices that just seem to... I'm really sad that you don't just, like, decapitate them with that. You die immediately. Seems like a good time. Whoop. I feel like if you were to get defeated by shields, like, how do you tell that story in Valhalla? Is this guy, this guy's a ghost. So you just possessed armor? Yeah, he, he ain't got no face. He ain't got no face! Ow! My face! Explode! What's the name of the dude from Fat Albert who, who doesn't have a face? Uh... Faceless guy. Thanks. No, oh, these assholes. To the internet I go. <laughs> Fat Albert nice characters. Shot, idiot. Uh, Mushmouth. Oh, piss off. Mushmouth? No, that's Mushmouth. Mushmouth is a guy who's like, wabba dooba flee, but yeah. Albert. Ow, ow, ow. Dumb Donald. So, why does Mushmouth have that picture next to him? Because sometimes Google be dumb. So, uh, I ordered that mouse pad for Cleo, right? And, uh, they shipped it via UPS, and UPS was like, 
it'll get there between the 6th and the 9th of February. I'm like, okay. And then, uh, I was watching the tracking, and tracking was like, hey, it's in, on, on Friday, we dropped it off in Scranton for the postal service. Should be there on Monday. It's still there. In Scranton. Why? Because <laughs> nobody cares about doing a good job anymore. I'll tell you why. It's because they said it would be here between the 6th and 9th. And if I wanted it here sooner, I should have paid more. So they're just going to sit on it for like five days to make sure it gets here when they said it would for that price. Human. Do not produce light. Where are you? He's up there. Light. No the better. This dude. Do not produce light. Light. I didn't mean to have the light. He's a finito. Did you come? Yes. Many. But they have. This guy is in his Many anime are. rival Before. phase. Huh? We call him the anti-weeb. What a weird gesture to learn. Interesting. He sells mushrooms! Warmth. What is that? I believe it's healing. Oh. I mean, I'll take one. Why not? I wonder if that would do anything interesting but in he also Frozen the Lamb. Elizabeth shrooms. He sells shrooms. Get How shroom, did you get shroom. This come somewhere. He lives this underground. Come. He probably just grew them in a corner. Well, I thought they had to come from Elizabeth. Now, there's an area down there in the dark that I don't know how to get to. Maybe you could just, like, drop down there and find out. Eat these to enjoy the taste of milk. Alright. That's the bell that goes wrong. Is there any other kind of bell? Uh, there's the bells that go. Are there bells that go pling? And there's bells that go tunk. Are there bell are there bells that go and the bells that go, yip, 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 oh. Those are the kobold bells. Bells that go click. <laughs> bells that go sproing. <laughs> and these are the bells of St. Mary. There's but there's bells that go clunk because they're sitting on the ground. There's so many bells in here. Indeed. There. Lady of White Hood. And a petrified dragon. As opposed mom. to a manly of White Hood. Or White Hood that's filled with goo. I can't wait to be done with this so I can uninstall this game and free up all of the hard drive space it takes up. Do you know how much hard drive space this game takes up with the high resolution texture pack? Like 80 gigabytes. Ah! Oh my god. Fire, man. Oh. How's that? She just Idiot. shoots the... She shoots the black balls. Black balls of fire. Oh, usurper. Why Don't must you? you? <laughs> well, that's... That's not the usurper. Here you are. Oh, here he is. What was that? Were you trying to Lloyd Talisman me? You numpty. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hello! <laughs> Blee! Ah, snap. <laughs> Get oh. out of here and go back to selling miracles nobody wants. Oh. These bags of ass. Aha! Shit! <laughs> I hit the wrong button! In the face! More fireballs. wonder why my mic seems to be sagging. More fireballs. More fireballs. <laughs> Just fire. Imperious leggings. <laughs> they suck. You're a lot lighter, though. I don't care. <laughs> You're still in your menu. Oops. Thank you. <laughs> I try to help. gonna go ding that dong. We'll stop him. Uh oh. <laughs> that was close. S somehow that did not ding dang to do. Break. Monica fireballs? Monica? I can't read that crazy text. Is that all the. Nope. Oops, somebody got bonged. That's fine. Everything is as it should be. Okay. Oh, it's Monica with a strike through. There. I think that's all the guys in this, oh. all the statues in this room. Monica, my beloved. You can ding that dang all you want now, buddy. Ain't no one coming to save your ass. There might be one person. Uh, this way. Yeah. Cool. Ha ha! Yeah, see, there's a, there's like a whole, there's like an area down there. Huh. There's like a summon sign and stuff. Is that just, oh, big braziers up there. I used to pronounce that brazier, and then I learned... <laughs> a friend in brazier? Yes. I feel like I'm missing a friend. Hello? And there's like a guy down there. I I guess I don't get friends. Unless there is a friend back here. Bong bong. Ah, this is the trap corridor. Ah. Yep. Oh, there was a yeah, s surprise one back here. Yeah, secret hidden doom thing. Can I smash your thing, please? Oh, my thing! I die. Uh... <laughs> you an asshole. Alright. Everyone knows Willem Dafoe. Some of us know Willem de Friend, but not enough know Willem de Quaintance. It was just this guy back here just going bong, to town on bong, that bell. Bong. Ding 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 ding. Help, help! Ding 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 ding. What the fuck? What? I guess I don't get a friggin' friend. 
I legit can't remember where the friend is. It's bullshit. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! <laughs> Axe cleave skull. Bells of no trap. <laughs> he slowly splits in twain. That's kind of a, that's kind of spooky. Aha! It's this asshole. Dickhead. Now I don't think he responds, but I'll sit here. Nope. That dude responds. But that dude is on the other side. Hmm. Dally ho! Right, let's go have a jolly cup of tea. Yeah! <laughs> this is my tea battle cry. What the fuck? What? It was an invisible man. I was about to find something. Huh. Secrets. Bedtime right. for kobolds. Have a good sleepies. Let's do this one at a time, gentlemen. Are sure well, you I said wanna, one at a time, sure gentlemen. you don't want to hang out for just a second? Because we're just about done for the night. We're about to hit the four hour mark. Panda's got this boss. And I think that's all he'll have time for. Wow. What the fuck, Zap? Why are you still zoopity? <laughs> Why are you still zoopity? <laughs> Come fight me down here where it's less scary. <laughs> okay! Wow, these these attacks feel very anemic. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Funny how this dude was a boss like five minutes ago. Now he's just like a dude. Eh, eh. Rarg. You can do it! How dare. <laughs> There's a time when being a dragon rider meant something. <laughs> it meant getting cheesed into a hole in your first fight. Oh, hey, it's oh, something. Hey. Friend? Oh, Agnane. My god, the sword. <laughs> this dude is like maximum anime mode. <laughs> god. That dude cannot hold that sword. He's holding it. He's one-handed it. <laughs> okay, Cloud, whatever you say. Cloud Stroif. Enter the... <laughs> Big boss time. This is the wrong button. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Ow. Uh, fire seemed to do good damage. Do you have a fire thing you could apply to your sword, to your axe? Whoa, look at all the smell! <laughs> Did that even hit him? I just tried to do a jump attack like it's goddamn Elden Ring. <laughs> I it doesn't seem swing to be and a miss. Effective. Why am I doing zero damage with my jump attacks? He's uh, strong versus jump attacks. We shall spell him together, Agdane. You might want to back off, Agdane. It looks real bad. He's donging, Agdane. 
Look, Gavin, you ever played Pokemon? Jump is weak to Bell. Ow. <laughs> You're gonna hit me with one of those. Ow. Whoa. Ow. Bitch. Keep myself topped. Eh. Eh. That's not good. <laughs> okay. It looks like he was crouching down to do like a big bagoosh. Yeah. Real talk though. Bagoosh! <laughs> 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 who, uh. Who said, I shall build him a weapon and it shall be a bell? <laughs> Someone who's like, really into theatrics. Cause like the f well, see, because the thing is, the first time you hit somebody with it, it's gonna go bong and be really dramatic. But now it's bent, so the next time it's gonna be like bong. <laughs> Bagoo. <laughs> Bagoosh, a word which, in this context, means fuck my face off. <laughs> Taco Bell dong. Oh, bong. hey, madam. Oh. Are you gonna give me the thing? Use it to get adventured bearer than one without one. I hate you. <laughs> Alright, well, you're gonna just you're gonna bone home. Uh I guess that's it. I think so. So there are secret items. None that I care about. And with that victory, that I think will do for tonight. We're at the four hour mark. So, uh, so I think at this point I'm a little bit in the lead. Yes. We have the same number of dudes. I'd say you're considerably in the lead because you've beaten the first throne dudes. Right. And you've made it all the way to the end. You've technically made it all the way to, like, the end boss of your DLC is open. You right. gotta do the thing where you go get the dudes, but I haven't even set foot in the mine. Technically, I don't have to do the thing with the dudes if I could just get good, but I don't think that boss is doable. At least not with my build. Like, I don't think that boss is so doable, at least not with my build. Um, upgrade my flask. Like, damn. Maybe if I maybe if I'd gone like spell mode, so I could hit like with range, constantly, I'd be a little better off. But having to do, having to do like close damage. Just only one chunk. I really, cause that's some. That's where I'm really falling off. Is Check with what's her name. Yeah, just get that stupid fucking dumb. Goddamn piece of shit way. ring. Well, does she have chunk now? Chunk. She have chunk. She have slab. They are expense. I can get two chunk. <laughs> Visit me. Well, you have lots of souls hanging around, don't you? You've got shitloads of souls. Um. So yeah. So I think there's a good chance that I might actually be able to finish up in the next stream, unless things go really wrong in Frozen Alam, which is very possible. Because I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing there. Um, yeah, this game did seem to have a lot of, like, crossover weapons that did more than one thing, which I thought was nice. They didn't really seem to do that much in the other games. I mean, Dark Souls 3 had some. Dark Souls 3 is when they introduced the weapon arts. What is that sun thing? This thing? No, the sun looking thing. Oh, this? It's yeah. Metal to offer to Altar of Sun? I don't know what that is. I believe that's a covenant you can join. It's mm. like the remnants of Gwyn's covenant and you, you know, the one that Solaire was big into. And, uh, I think that's a way to get, like, lightning miracles and shit. Mm. So, yeah, so basically, oh, I also need to figure out how to make Nashandra show the fuck up. Because I got there and I was like, okay, I'm just going to do this now. And I beat the first two dudes and then Nashandra didn't show up. And I'm like, I don't know why she's not showing up. 
so now I need to do that. I think I'm gonna focus on my axe hardcore, because I need I need more chunk. Uh, it's what, plus eight? So that's saying I need, you two, need two more, more chunks. Because they do it and dumb, slide. and instead of having what you have first and what one you need... One out of three. It looks like it's saying three out of one. You're like, but I have three. Using Mace of the Insulin. You're at the nobody did this without the internet part of the end game. That sounds right. Oh! Speaking of which, it's a massive mace that can be used to cast miracles and hexes. Yeah. Its scaling is probably trash. I'll be around if you make it back. I'll be in my ass if you make my ass. So, Until and why then, am I talking to you? <laughs> so if I can finish the game in the next round, then Panda will have one more stream to finish the game. If he can't, I will. that means that I win the race. Which, I'm not, would that be an upset? Oop, there it went. Hmm. I think that's maximum X. Yep, it's gone. So now I can get three more chunks. I'll be around. Did you fight the Drawing Knight in the all, all free tower? The Wahoo the now? I will always until Why am I talking to you? God damn it. <laughs> this lady with the tits. I don't remember fighting any Drawing Knight in my last playthrough. I seem to recall just naturally getting to the throne and being ready to uh, do that. Do I that. Maximum poke stick. Blue flame? Well, I guess I'll find out. Oh, and this is a sword that uses sorceries with strong attack. Yay, nice. Again, the scaling is probably. It's sorcery scaling is probably trash. Mm -hmm. Oh, stamina recovery. I think that's a heavier shield than the... It's actually not. Yeah, it is. Oh, well, it's slightly heavier, but it's shittier damage reduction. Mm. In almost every way. So the question is whether or not it's oh, the no, same Oh, no, it gets of... crazy lightning defense. Mm. So, anywho, so, that's what's, that's what's, uh... See, I'll be around. now we know we can't trust Cobalt. He's just making shit up in chat. I figure it, it sounded... Kill her! <laughs> it sounded fake. <laughs> it sounded fake. Drong night. <laughs> so, so that'll do for uh, tonight. We'll be back on Wednesday with round with the top of round four. Me trying to finish the game. And uh, might be also... Uh, we'll, we're aiming for another Cleo stream. We were, uh, she wasn't able to stream earlier today. She had stuff come up, but we'll let you know if there's going to be a Cleo stream later this week. Uh, and that'll do for that'll do for now. So as always, huge thank you to our Twitch cheer subscribers and donators. Your financial support helps to pay a couple bills every month. Whoop! And it means the world to us. So thank you so much for that. And don't forget get to check us out on discord and twitter we've got some links for you to follow right here in the chat you'll want to head over to our youtube channel we're posting vods reels that sort of stuff over there uh, so give us a subscribe do so you can catch those when they go up uh, you can watch our vods over there in uh i they might not be in 4k yet but they will be soon and uh so yeah, pop over there and uh, drop into our Discord. We've got a wonderful community of people who would love to chat with you. So drop by, say hi, and we'll see you guys next time on Controller Tape. Good boy. Bye. Bye.